I should pack a little lighter anyways. You nervous about your first cheer practice? No way, it's just cheer. How hard could it be? Probably harder than you think. Okay, maybe I'm a little nervous. I've never done anything like this before. But I know that cheering on a bunch of boys just isn't for me. I'm just doing cheer to win the bet so that Dylan will film me and Sophia for the surf video contest. Hmm. Did I ever tell you how I started surfing? No, just that you started when you were little. I wasn't that little, only a bit younger than you. And believe it or not, I used to think surfing was lame. Really? But you love surfing. Well, I love surfing now, but back then I was so scared of wiping out that I decided I didn't like surfing before I even tried it. So you think I'm deciding I don't like cheer before I try it? <laughs> If the flip-flop fits. Look, I'm just saying keep an open mind when trying new things. Because an open mind is like a wave. You never know where it may take you. Hmm. Thanks for the ride, Liam. And for the advice. Anytime. Good luck. They don't expect us to do that. Uh, me too. I'd like to keep my front teeth, thank you very much. Sorry, what was that? I'm hard of hearing. Oh, uh, I said I'd rather keep my front teeth. <laughs> I'm Brooklyn. I'm Joss. Oh, what's that? It's a microphone to help me hear the coach. If she speaks into it, her voice goes directly to my hearing aid and I can hear everything she says. Oh, wow. Do you know sign language? I sure do. That's so cool. I don't know any other languages. Hey, do you want me to give the microphone to Coach Kara for you? Sure, thanks. Okay, hustle up, everyone. First off, we need to welcome our potential new teammates. Oh, hi. <laughs> We're gonna start out with tumbling today to see everyone's skill level. Uh, Joss Kendrick, welcome. Can you show us a back walkover? That's okay. We're all here to get better. Brooklyn, you're up next. I thought surf girls were supposed to have strong arms, but yours are super wobbly. Whatever, Mila. I'm just doing this to win a bet. <gasps> Settle down, ladies. Let's move on to dancing. We'll start with a basic two-step move. Follow along, ladies. Move when I move. Cheer is about precision. One, two, three, Whoa. four. Oh. Oops. Oh, sorry. Don't worry about it. Joss, try to follow my count, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh huh. That's it. You got it. Now let's add music. What's wrong, Joss? You had it a second ago. I can't hear the count for the steps over the music. So, 
Was cheer practice the worst? I just felt like I didn't belong, like I was some newbie out surfing for the first time. That's because you belong out in the water. Totes. I just want to give up on this stupid bet and hit the waves. Tina Hart would never give up on a challenge, and neither should you. <laughs> Although I bet Tina Hart was never a cheerleader. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine her with pom-poms on a surfboard? <laughs> Actually, the cheer teams at Raina's gym don't use pom-poms at all. Then what do they do? Well, yesterday I worked on dance moves. Man, these dance moves are so hard. And that snob Mila was being so judgy. I have to do the exact same moves at the exact same time as everybody else, and I can't make it up as I go like I do with surfing. Also, I'm about as graceful as Murph in a tutu. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in luck because I'm a great dancer. Come on, let's practice. Smile and try to look confident. But I don't feel confident. That's why you have to fake it till you feel it. I'm just relieved that we get to try out as a group. That way no one will be staring at just me. All right, ladies, let's get started. <sighs> Fake it till you feel it. You did all right, surfer girl, but that doesn't mean you'll make the team. Don't listen to her. You did great, Joss. And if you stick with cheer, you'll become an even stronger surfer. Um, what do you mean? Well, surfing has all the same skills as cheer. Flexibility. Strength. Balance. Those are all things we work on here at the gym. I guess you're right. I never thought of it that way. Whoa, your jumps on the trampoline were so cool! Thanks! The trampoline is actually the perfect place to practice the front side air. What's a front side air? Is that a cheer move? It's a surf move. That's the trick I'm going to use to win the surf video contest. And on the trampoline, I can focus on my technique without worrying about wiping out. Well, if you keep practicing with us, then I bet you'll be able to pull off the front side air in no time. And you'll get better at cheer, too. I'm just here to win Dylan's bet so he'll film our video for the surf contest. I'm not actually going to join the cheer team. Oh, I, I just thought that... Never mind. I hope you win your bet. See you later, Joss. Ugh, the results still aren't up. Try refreshing again. I hope you made it so you can show those bow-wearing backflippers that surf girls can do anything. You know, some of the girls were actually pretty nice. Raina helped me out a lot and Brooklyn was cool. But I think I might have hurt her feelings. OMG, the results are up! I can't look. Just tell me if I made it. I don't see your name. Wait, there you are! Joss Kendrick! You made it! <gasps> I did it! I can't believe it! Let's call Dylan right now! I want to see his face when we tell him that- What up, Joss? Calling to beg me to do the video, even though you didn't make the cheer team? No, actually, we're calling to say that you better get your camera ready, because Joss did it! No way! Yep, I made the team, and now you have to shoot the video. A deal's a deal. Fine, I guess I can work you guys into my schedule. Later! Now you can email the coach and tell her you won't be joining the team. Yeah, totally. Oh. I've got to get back to my mom's shop, but I'm excited to have my surf sister back. See you tomorrow! <sighs> I guess I should write that email to Coach Kara now. 
<clears throat> Dear Coach Kara, thank you for giving me a chance to try out for cheer. I decided not to join, but it was a really good experience. Don't give me that look, Murph. I know I should just send it, but I don't want to. Maybe it's because Coach Kara was so nice, or because I actually might have made friends with Brooklyn. Maybe Rain is right. Maybe Cheer could help me with my surf tricks. <laughs> all right, all right. One quick change. Dear Coach Kara, thank you for giving me a chance to try out for Cheer. I can't wait to join the team. It'll be a really good experience. Seven times eight is 56. Not now, Roxy, I have homework due tomorrow. Oh no, how did I forget? Why can't I go to the salon? Dolled Up with American Girl is a specially licensed magical salon. Some of the treatments performed may permanently change your doll and products. <gasps> no way, this is the sweetest salon I've ever seen. Uh, frosted donuts? Don't mind if I do. Hi, excuse me. Oh, hi. Welcome to Dolled Up with American Girl. What are you looking to do today? It's crazy hair day at school and I need something super sweet to stand out. Unique hair is our specialty. I've got just the thing. So what are you thinking? I think it'll be better if I surprise you. But there's a hint in the shop. Maybe you can guess. So there's a hint in the salon, huh? All right, let me see if I can guess. First, let's put your hair up in a ponytail. There we go, perfect! Now I need to get the scissors. <gasps> Wait, are you gonna cut my hair? No, silly, I'm going to cut this. Hmm. Ooh, let me guess, you're turning my hair into a cupcake. You're on the right track, but nope. We're going to put your hair through this hole. Wow, it's starting to look crazy already. Now we're gonna put it up in a bun. Don't forget, once you feel like your hair's in a good place, secure it with a hair tie or a rubber band. And there we go. It's a donut bun. What do you think? So that's what the clue was. There's donuts at the front door. But I don't think it's crazy enough. Don't worry, I didn't say I was done. No donut is complete without a little bit of frosting. These pins will hold the frosting in place and they look just like sprinkles. Be careful when using sharp objects and ask a grown-up for help. There, your donut's like a real donut. See? <gasps> How cute, it's so sugary sweet. Hope no one tries to eat my hair. How cute. Whoa. Oh, it's pretty. There you are, Stephanie. Your hair is looking sweet. Thanks, guys. You all look fun, too. Thanks. I got it done. It's all up with American Girl. <gasps> so did I. Let's go together next time. <laughs> Oof. I just can't do it. It's okay, Joss. Just because you haven't done it yet doesn't mean you can't. Hmm, I think the problem is in your footing. Do you think it's because I'm goofy-footed? Goofy-footed? It's a surfing thing. It means I ride with my right foot forward on my board. See? Most surfers ride with their left foot forward. That's the regular way. Hmm, then why don't you try kicking off with your left foot instead of right? <laughs> oh, I know what's missing. You need to use the power of the bow. Power of the huh? Use your bow to get the lift you need. Imagine that your bow is lifting your head and neck upward while your shoulders stay down. <sighs> that was so close, Joss. See, the power of the bow works. Now I know why we wear the bows. They do have power. <laughs> How about we celebrate with some trampoline jumps? Great idea, let's go. Awesome, Joss. Thanks, Brooklyn. Could you film this next one for me? Sure. 
I'm gonna try the front side air again. Hopefully it won't be like last time. <laughs> you can do it! Just remember to use your bow! Sophia, hey! Hey, did you get the video I sent? No, I've been busy. Oh, um, well, I finally nailed the front side air on the trampoline. It wasn't in the water, so it doesn't count. And you won't have all your new gym friends cheering you on at the beach. Hmm. Wait, what happened to your Surf Sister bracelet? Oh, oh no, I must have forgot it at the gym. I have to take it off for cheer. It's a safety thing. Whatever. What up? You guys ready to rip? Why don't you ask Joss? She's the star of the video. We're both the stars, Sophia. Well, you seem to think that your front side air is the focus of the video, so why don't you just do it already so you can quit cheer? Man, what's gotten into her? I think she's mad that I'm doing cheer. Weren't you gonna quit after you won the bet? What'd you say? I said I thought you were gonna quit cheer after you won the bet. I was, but then I realized that cheer could help me do the front side air. Um, I'm confused. What does a front side air have to do with cheer? Cheer's helping me with my strength and balance so I can pull off harder surf tricks. And I made a deal with Sophia. If I can land the front side air by today, then I get to stay in cheer. Stay in cheer? But I thought you hated cheer. You thought their big bows were dumb. I did, but then I learned the power of the bow. The power of the what? Never mind. You wouldn't understand. Just keep your camera on me. I'm going to prove to Sophia that I can do the front side air. <laughs> Gnarly wipeout! Hang on, I can't hear you. Gnarly wipeout! Luckily, I got the whole thing on camera. It'll be great for your video. I don't want that in my video, Dylan. Your video? I thought it was our video. It is. I'm just messing with you, sis. I won't put it in, but I think this does prove that cheer and surfing don't mix. I'll, uh, see you back at home. Wait, I want to try again. I know I can do the trick. Just give it up, Joss. Uh-oh, surf sister fight. I am not getting in the middle of this. I was so close, Sophia. If it wasn't for the landing, I would have nailed it. But you didn't nail the landing, and it's Saturday, and you promised, so? I'm not quitting. You promised me that if you couldn't get the front side air by today, then you would quit. Are you going back on your word? Yes. I mean, no. I know what I said, but I really don't want to quit cheer. So your new cheer friends are more important than your surf sister. I didn't say that. Then why won't you quit? I don't know. Maybe I actually like cheer. I think you like showing off, and you just found a new way to do that where everyone claps and cheers for you, just like in that video. They're cheering for me because they're supportive. Whatever, Joss. You just care about the front side air and cheer. You don't care about me and our video, so you know what? I'm done being your surf sister. Ugh. 
Sophia's gonna hate me forever. I don't know what to do, Murph. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Some quiet time will help me figure things out. Wipeout. Huh? I was just having some QT. Oh, well, sorry to interrupt your quiet time, but Mom said dinner will be ready soon. I'm not hungry. But it's enchilada casserole, your favorite. I was so close to the front side air today, Liam, but I didn't land it. Now I have to quit cheer. Do you want to quit cheer? Not really. I mean, it's not so bad. It's kind of fun being on a team. And I love the trampoline. Plus, I've made new friends and learned some new skills that have really helped with my surfing. Well, then why quit? Because surfers should be all in 100%, just like Tina Hart says. So you don't think you can be a surfer and a cheerleader? Not according to Tina Hart, and Sophia, and Dylan, and Mila. You know I'm all about surfing, right? But I skateboard and play volleyball too. Does that make me less of a surfer? No, I guess not. Right, and Dylan surfs, but he's also a really good filmmaker. Does that make him less of a surfer? No. And your surf sister, Sophia, can rip on the waves, but she's also an artist, right? Mm-hmm. So having different interests doesn't make you less you. But Tina Hart says that- Yeah, she says be all in, but I don't think that means be all surfer or be all cheerleader. I think she means be true to yourself. Do what you love and give 100% to what you're doing right now. Whether that's surfing or cheer, or making a video with your surf sister. Guess I never thought about it like that. But I know some people who don't see it that way. Then make them see what I see. A strong surfer and cheerleader. Show them that you can do both. Hmm. Hmm. And I'm gonna be all in 100% with cheer, surfing, and all my friends. <laughs> Righteous, sis. Now, let's go get some enchilada casserole before Dylan eats it all. My name is Chelsea, and today we'll be learning how to say argument in sign language because even friends sometimes disagree. Here's the sign. Let's do that again. That's how you sign argument. Thanks for watching. Sophia and I have never gotten into a fight before. It's like she doesn't understand how important the front side air is to our video. Well, from what you've said, it doesn't really sound like the fight really was about the front side air. It was totally about that. We made a deal and she's mad that I backed out so I can keep doing cheer. Well, I think you're only looking at this from your side, Joss. What do you mean? My mom says there are always two ways to look at an argument. Your point of view and theirs. To move past it, you need to see both sides. Right now, you are only seeing your side. But I don't know what her side is. 
it's not about the front side air, cheer, then I don't know why she's mad. I think the best way to find out is to talk to Sophia about it. You don't understand. Sophia and I are surf sisters. That's bigger than other friendships. She'll come talk to me when she's ready. <sighs> if you say so. I'm gonna go practice tumbling. Good luck with your best friend. I'm really surprised to see you today, Jess. What'd you say? I said I'm surprised to see you at the gym today. Why? I thought for sure you would have quit by now. Especially after what you said about cheer at the last practice. You just want me to quit so you don't have to share the spotlight. Especially because I'm so good at the trampoline. Whatever, Joss. Joss, can we talk in private? Sure. Joss, as a part of Team Shine, it's important to treat each girl with respect. And I don't think you are giving respect to your teammates. But Mila started it. This isn't just about Mila. From the moment you tried out for cheer, you made it clear that you were only doing it for a bet. Well, because I was at first. And you also told everyone that you don't respect the sport of cheer. I don't feel that way anymore. Which is great. But if you are going to be a part of this team, then you need to stop treating this like some bet and start treating it like a sport, which means showing your teammates that you respect them. Maybe I just don't belong here. You belong here just as much as anyone. But right now, it doesn't seem like you want to be a part of this team. Hey! Waiting for Sophia? No, she's not coming. Why not? We're fighting. Not that you care. I know we don't always get along, but I'm still your big brother. Talk to me. What's up? I just... I feel like everyone is mad at me. Sophia's mad at me about our video. Raina's mad about what I said to Mila. I think Brooklyn might be mad too. I don't even know why. Sounds like you forgot about the code. The code? The best place to start is with rule number one. Give respect to get respect. Raina did say that I needed to respect my teammates. See? The code is always right. You really think I can fix all this? Sure do, sis. Besides, you'll have to if you're going to beat me in the surf video contest. <laughs> I don't think Sophia and I stand a chance now. Hey, I think if you and Sophia both show your strengths and a certain awesome director films it, then you definitely still have a chance. Oh, there she is. Go talk to her and remember the code. Hey. Hey. I wanted to say, I'm sorry. I should have been more respectful of you and everything you bring to our video. Honestly, I wish we never decided to do the video. Ever since you found out about the contest, all you cared about was that stupid bet, cheerleading, and nailing the front side air. You didn't care about me or my art at all. You're right. I was distracted by everything. I forgot that our friendship is more important than any of that stuff. More important than cheer? Because when you took off your surf sister bracelet, it really felt like you were choosing cheer over me. I swear, that wasn't on purpose. I thought I was doing everything for us, for our video, so we could meet Tina Hart. Together. But I don't think you were doing it for us at all. I think you really just wanted to show off. To what? I said I think you just wanted to show off for everyone. I, I guess I just wanted Tina Hart to notice me and my trick. But you're right. I was showing off. I wasn't thinking about your feelings and, and that's not what surf sisters do. 
You and your art are just as important as my surf tricks. Thank you for saying that. I've been working on some pretty rad pieces, actually. Can I see them? Sure, under one condition. Name it. We do the surf video together, as a team. <laughs> you got it. Does this mean that you'll finally quit cheer? <laughs> huh? Actually, I, uh, I don't want to quit cheer. Why not? Cheer isn't what we thought it was, Sophia. It's actually really challenging and fun. I know surfer girls don't usually cheer, but I like it. And I want to be true to myself 100%, just like Tina Hart says. You just want to stay in cheer because of all your new friends. I do like my teammates, but making new friends doesn't change our friendship. You will always be my surf sister. I saved this just in case you wanted it back. I'm really glad you grabbed it. I was worried it was lost forever. I've got your back. Isn't that what surf sisters are for? Now, how about we catch some waves? Together! Yeah, let's do it! <laughs> hey, Brooklyn. I've been thinking about what you said, about how there are two sides to every argument, and it made me realize a lot. I'm glad I could help. It made me see how much your friendship means to me. I came into cheer thinking no one would like the surf girl, but you were awesome to me from the very start. Us cheer newbies need to stick together. That's right. And I think we should hang out more. Outside of cheer, I mean. I'd like that. Maybe you could come over and I could teach you some sign language. Oh, that would be awesome. Great. I'm looking forward to it. Line up, everyone. Time for tumbling. What? Do you have more critiques of my trampoline skills? Because last time I checked, that was Coach Kara's job. No, I wanted to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said what I did. I was self-conscious because I'm new to cheer and you're so good at everything. Especially tumbling, which I'm the worst at. Oh, well, thank you, I guess. There's something else too. From the moment I got here, I felt like you didn't want me on the team, and I want to know why. For your information, cheer means a lot to me. So when I thought you were just joining to win a bet, I guess I was angry that you weren't taking it seriously. The bet may be why I started cheer, but I stayed because I really like it. I want to be a part of this team, and I want your respect. And if you want respect, you have to give it first. That's the surfer's way. So, what do you say? Truce? Hmm, maybe. If you can do one thing for me. What's that? Share your secret to getting so much air on the trampoline. <laughs> Deal. Nice to see you two getting along. Yeah, I feel like I'm a real part of the team now. There's only one thing holding me back. What's that? The back walkover. Kendrick, you're up next. Remember, the power of the bow. I used to struggle with back walkovers too, and I found that the key is to find balance in your hands and foot. Just imagine that you're a tripod. Great job, Joss! I 
knew you could do it. You just needed a little help from your teammates. Yeah, <laughs> go Yeah! Yeah! Go, girl! Hey guys, my name is Chelsea, and today we'll be learning how to say team in sign language because Joss learned the importance of teamwork. Here's the sign. Let's do that again. That's how you sign team. Thanks for watching. Whoa, that one is so cool. We have to include it in the video. I think we'll actually have room for all your art. Yeah, I guess our video is going to be on the short side. Oh, I didn't mean that your art wasn't enough. No, I know. I'm just saying that we didn't really get a lot of surf footage. I suppose my quest to do the front side air kind of took over, didn't it? But it's not too late. Oh no. Please don't tell me you're going to keep trying to land that trick. <laughs> don't worry. Right now, my only goal is to make a great video with my surf sister. And I think I know how we can still pull that off. How? The deadline for the contest is tomorrow. You're not going to like it. Try me. We need to combine forces with Dylan and his friends. What? Partner with the boys? No way! Remember, this video is about our whole beach and all the people who love it like we do. I don't know, Joss. Dylan would never partner with us. If I know Dylan, he hasn't finished his video or ours. He always puts things off until the last minute. So you're thinking if Dylan combines his video with our videos, he'll have less work to do? Exactly. You really think he'll go for this? I can't say for sure, but we have to try. Isn't it great that Coach Kara agreed we could practice on the beach today? Yeah, it's a nice break from the gym. And now the team can see you in action on the waves. It's pretty cool that you're excited to see Joss surf. I was hoping to see some of your beach art too. Joss told me all about it. Maybe you'll see it in our video. That is, if Dylan helps us finish it. Don't worry, Sophia. No matter what, we'll know that we were all in 100%, just like Tina Hart. What's up, Reina? Did you come to see my moves in the water? We're actually here to cheer on Joss and Sophia. Wow, Joss. You brought the whole cheer team to see you fail the frontside air again? No frontside air this time. We're just trying a few more tricks for our video. How's your video going, Dylan? Awesome. Totally awesome. Yeah, we're, we're almost done. It'll be great. Huh? You said on the way over that you hadn't started yet. Started, finished, it's all the same. Well, I'm going to hit the waves. Hopefully give you more to work with. Wait! I want to give you something that might help you get some air. It's my lucky bow! Thanks, Reina. Now I'll remember to keep my head high when I catch a great wave. I've sort of been practicing every day at Sheer, training my muscles and working on balance. And when I caught that air, I just did what came naturally. You really are a cheerleader and a surfer, 100%. 
I gotta admit, that was a pretty sick trick. And I got the whole thing on video. Really? Is it the kind of trick you'd want in your video? Totally. But don't worry, I won't steal it from you. Well, what if it wasn't just mine? What if we shared it? What do you mean? I think she's talking about joining forces. What? No way! My video is just with the guys. But the contest is supposed to show what we love about the whole beach. And that should include all of our surf crew, boys and girls. I don't know. Well, think about it, bro. It would make for better footage for your director reel. Do we have a deal? I guess it wouldn't hurt to have more footage. And that trick you did was pretty rad. Yeah, we've got a deal. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you all for coming to see our video. First off, I want to thank my amazing brother Dylan for putting it all together. Next, I'd like to thank Liam for all of his wise words. I'd also like to give a big wave thank you to my surf sister Sophia for her incredible art and for never giving up on me or on this video. And let's send it home with a final thank you to a group that really knows how to get loud. Thank you to my cheer teammates for always pushing me to be my best. <laughs> Now roll the video! I guess there's only one thing left to do. The email's ready to go. All we need to do is hit send. Can you see Tina Hart yet? Not yet. Wait, here she comes! <laughs> I can't hear anything. Will you help me? Of course. Tina says her charity raises money to help beach cleanup. She says each year, eight million pounds of plastic is dumped in the ocean. Did you say 800 pounds? No, she said eight million pounds. Eight million? We have a lot more work to do to clean up our ocean. Oh, this is it. She's announcing the winners now. She just announced third place, and it's not us. Okay, now second place is also not us. Oh, I don't know if I should be happy or sad. <laughs> what? What is yeah! it? We won! Oh my god, no way! We did it! Come on, guys! We got a trophy to collect! Congratulations! Your video was very inspiring. I love that you combined art with beach cleanup. All of the art was made by my best friend and surf sister, Sophia. Wow, great work, Sophia. <clears throat> uh, and the video was made by my brother, Dylan, who's an amazing surfer and a director. And he's a pretty great brother, too. Wow, that was some really impressive filmmaking, Dylan. 
I like how you showed your whole surf squad. Thank you, thank you. But I, I can't take all the credit. I mean, it was my sister Joss's idea to bring everyone together. That's awesome, Joss. The artwork, filmmaking, and focus on community really made the video stand out. Also, that flying bee trick you did was great. I've never seen anything like it. Where'd you learn that? Joss invented that trick herself, and she learned the moves from doing cheer. Wow, that's so cool. You know, I'm a dancer, and I get a lot of inspiration for surf tricks on the dance floor. Really? You're a surfer and a dancer? Yep. Now, how about you teach me that trick with your new surfboard? I'd love to! Find your open man. Good, good. All right. Over here! All right, you moving. All right, go for it, all right. All right. Good practice, everyone. Especially you, all right. <laughs> the pageant type. So what's the pageant type? Well, pageant girls are just all about looking pretty, and I'm more of a serious athlete and student. You should check out this article I just read. Miss America uses her scholarship money to go to law school. Cool beans. Guess there isn't one type of beauty queen after all. So you're doing the pageant? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's not just one kind of girl who can do pageants. <laughs> Did you know Miss America is going to law school? Oh, so what's your talent? Basketball, what's yours? My mom calls it the Broadway showstopper. Huh, good name. That is so funny. It was a little weird. Obviously. Who dribbles in a beauty pattern? It's the worst I Guys! Guys! We were just kidding. I've got to get to practice. She would have been there. Me too. Don't listen to those jive turkeys. <laughs> they are jive turkeys, aren't they? It's so unfair that we don't go to the same school anymore. Well, at least we still get to see each other when you visit your dad on the weekends. But it would be so much less complicated if my whole family still lived together. I guess everything is complicated, though. Even pageants. Jen Shudda. Shudda. Julie, I love that you play basketball, and you're the best at it, too. But maybe you should think about switching your talents. 
to what? You're a really good singer. How about... Ooh, a Beatles song. Mom said you gotta get off the phone. You just wanna use it. Actually, sweetheart, it's Tracy's turn. Two minutes. I gotta go, but you can come Friday and spend the night after, right? No way, Mr. Pageant. Awesome possum. Bye. Are you feeling better since talking to Ivy? She thinks maybe I should change my talent. Well, what do you think? Basketball is a little weird for a beauty contest. But I thought you told me that you're not the typical pageant girl. <laughs> I did say that, didn't I? Maybe we should give Julie her gift now. We made this for you. We even snuck Miss America 1974 in there. Far out. Take a look on the back. Tracy came up with that. Always be yourself. Wow. Whatever you decide to do for your talent, just remember that Tracy and I are proud of you. And your dad's gonna be proud of you too. Because you're pretty terrific, Julie Albright. I love you, Mom. Oh, you too, Tracy. <laughs> All right, settle down. Hey, welcome everybody to the Jack London Elementary School pageant. Let me tell you, you're in for a real treat with a lineup of fantastic talents, beginning with uh, Amanda Brown, the Tom Twiller. <laughs> Hey, Julie, they just said you're up next after Allison. Okay. Thank you. And next, let's welcome to the stage Miss Julie Albright, who will be sing singing? Dribbling.
Did you see her? Obviously. <laughs> yeah. That was really impressive. Really impressive. Really? My mom would have called it a Broadway showstopper. <laughs> <laughs> when you grow up, what do you want to be and why? When I grow up, I'd like to have my own clothing store because I'm really into fashion. Well, I like animals, so I'd like to be a veterinarian. I'd like to be a mom. An accountant. We want to start a ballet studio. I want to be a flight attendant. A movie star. President of the United States. Well, not right away. First, I'd have to go to college and then maybe become a mayor or something. And I know it might be really hard because there's never really been a female president before, but just imagine what it would be like if one day girls were born who couldn't even remember a time when there wasn't a woman president. Those girls would just know it was possible and never worry it wasn't. I think that would be really exciting, don't you? Okay, in just a few minutes, the judges will tally our votes and we'll have our winner. All right, are you as excited as I am to see who's gonna be the next Jack London Elementary beauty queen? Here we go, young ladies. Second runner-up is Jenny Summers. Congratulations. All right, first runner-up is Julie Albright. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations, Albright. Thank you. And the tiara goes to Allison Lodge. Should head out too. Thanks again for the flowers. You are very welcome. <clears throat> you will always be my pageant queen. <laughs> bye bye. I'll walk you out. Hey, Allie Oop, when you were for president, can I be your VP? You'd really want to do that? Yeah, we've never had a female vice president before. <laughs> or a Chinese one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I still think you should have won first place tonight. That's what vice president best friends are for. Do you want to try my first runner-up, Sash? First, you have to show me your pageant wave. Come on, do it with me. <laughs> <laughs> we are all in. Can you believe it's finally here? We're leaving tomorrow. Michael? I know, right? I can't wait. Have you finished packing, Michaela? I saw mom and dad have their bags all ready to go. Um, almost. Are you all done with the itinerary? Yep, all done. It is labeled, color coordinated, and ready to go. <laughs> Impressive. Right? Our first stop is the great island of Britain. I simply can't wait. <laughs> what are you most excited about with this trip? Hmm, trying new foods. And you? Absolutely 
everything. Meeting new friends, practicing my French, trying new things, getting lost in a beautiful garden. It will be the best trip ever. And scene. Hey, wait, that's not a bad idea. What, you adding dance moves to the itinerary? I think it's cool. No, no, us recording our adventures. We should do a video travel journal. That's an awesome idea. We can call it <gasps> the Travel Twins. Yes, in that way we can relive our favorite memories and share them with all of our friends. They can see us meeting the Queen of England, if she's available. Or catching leprechauns in Ireland. But do you really want our friends to see you miss catching a leprechaun? Why would I miss? <laughs> hey, we should start documenting right now. Oh, no, wait. I need to finish packing. I have some packing left to do, too. How about we meet after we're done and do our first recording? Say, one hour? Deal. Hmm, should I wear plaid or stripes when meeting royalty? <laughs> I'll bring both. Perfect jacket for the London fog. Check. A beret and party? Oui, c'est magnifique. And done. And you, pretty thing, are coming with me to the Coliseum. Ready to start recording? Aren't the clothes supposed to go in the suitcase? I think I got carried away. <laughs> And for our last travel tip, the Travel Twins recommend putting your toothpaste inside of your shoes. That way, it prevents it from leaking all over your carefully selected outfits. Plus, it'll save space in your luggage. Voila! Lastly, make sure to check you have the essentials. Passports. Check. Tickets. Check. Snacks. <laughs> Michael, your phone is dead. Portable phone charger. Double check! <laughs> <laughs>
our guest after all. I'm not a guest. I'm family. Great job, little bean. Did you know that I was supposed to raise the next baby koala? And it's not fair that you're the only one taking care of bean. They have to be strong. And remember that this is the best for bean. <gasps> there are so many animals that live in the Australian bush and they need our protection. We have to rush back to the camp and warn everyone about the fire. It's a do-something situation. Cheer girls and surfer girls don't exactly get along. Hey, we have just as much a right to be on this beach as they do. They're just all big bows and pom-poms. We're surf girls. A surf video contest sponsored by my mom's surf shop. If Joss makes the cheer team, then Dylan will shoot the surf video. You will never live this down. And you will see what cheerleaders are really made of. <laughs> Whoa! How are we going to finish this video if you're practicing cheer all the time? Look, I'm just saying, keep an open mind when trying new things. Because an open mind is like a wave. You never know where it may take you. <sighs> Fake it till you feel it. Come on, we got this. I'm ready. Good wave comes soon. It's been mushy all morning. I think Liam's trying to tell me something. That's one gnarly wave, but I'm ready! Per wave. Woo, woo, woo. 
It's not my fault you're too slow to catch a good break. I'm not too slow. It's this hand-me-down board. I need a new lighter one, but it'll take me years to save up enough allowance money to buy one. Not my problem, sis. There's always another wave, Joss. You'll catch a good one next time. Thanks, Liam. Hmm? You will never believe this! Sophia, catch your breath. A surf video contest sponsored by my mom's surf shop! Wait a sec, I couldn't hear you. Can you say that again? It's a surf video contest sponsored by my mom's surf shop! And look who's judging the contest! Tina Hart, OMG, she's my surfing hero! There's more! Keep reading! And the winner gets a new surfboard! Rad! <laughs> hey, Sophia, when I win this new board, make sure to thank your mom for me, yeah? I'm gonna crush this contest! Hey, that's ours! Don't worry. A surf sister is always prepared. Perfect. Do you really think we can beat Dylan? He's a filmmaker, and we've never made a video like that before. When life gives you the perfect wave, you've got to take it, no matter what everyone else is doing. Liam's right. We've got to ride this wave and win the contest. Come on, Sophia. We've got a video to make. <laughs> <laughs> what Murph found out in the sand. I hate when people litter. Me too. But we're doing our part to clean up our beach. Wait, hmm? I've got an idea. Whoa, that looks so cool, Sophia. Your beach art is awesome. I would never think to use this stuff like that. Do you think we should include some of my art for our video? Totally! Tina Hart will love it! Plus, we can show how we are working to clean up our beach! Yeah! And if I can nail a killer move like the front side air, that'll show her that we deserve to win! Front side air? You mean launching off a wave into the air? <laughs> but that's Tina Hart's signature trick. What if you can't pull it off in time? You don't think I can do it? No, of course I believe in you. But our video isn't just about one trick, right? It'll show lots of art and lots of tricks. Of course. We're going to have so much awesomeness in our video. Like me and Murph surfing. Did you get any video of us? I bet no one else will have a surfing dog. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You can't really tell that's me. It's kind of hard to see. I zoomed in the best I could, but I don't think my camera is strong enough. What did you say? Remember, if I can't see you, it's harder for me to hear you. Oh, right. I forgot. I said I don't think the camera on my phone is strong enough. Hmm, maybe you're right. We're gonna need some help in the filming department if we're gonna have a chance at winning this contest. Hmm... Huh? Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh, yes. good job, you guys. I think I know someone who can help. Huh? Dylan? Seriously? Do you really think he would help us? He has to film the cheerleaders. It's his filmmaking class assignment. He would never help us just cause. We won't know unless we ask. It's worth a try. Come on, let's go. Over there? With all the cheer girls? Yeah. Cheer girls and surfer girls don't exactly get along. Hey, we have just as much a right to be on this beach as they do. More even. We're surf girls. 
They're just all big bows and pom-poms. What's with those ginormous bows, anyway? I don't know, but they're pretty silly. Come on, we got this. Hey guys, how's it hanging? Um, I'm a little busy here. I'm trying to get enough footage for class. Well, Sophia and I have some actual moves out in the water that you could shoot. Can't you film us instead? That's probably more up your alley, Dylan. Besides, our moves might be a little too complicated for you to catch everything. Too complicated? Nah, I'm a pro. Besides, surfing isn't the assignment. Joss just doesn't like cheer. I never said that. Uh, you basically said it's not a real sport. I just said I don't get it. I never said that it it's wasn't. It's okay, Joss. Most people think that, but that's just because they don't understand that cheer is just as tough as surfing. What was that last part? Actually, cheer is way harder than surfing. You don't have to shout if I'm facing you. Besides, that's not true. Surfing is harder than cheerleading. Yeah? Do you guys even have competitions? There are tons of surf competitions. As a matter of fact, we wanted Dylan to film us for a surf video contest. The winner gets to meet Tina Hart. Tina who? She's only the most famous female surfer in the world. She's my hero. Never heard of her. So, will you help us out for the video contest? I don't know. I gotta finish this cheer squad assignment. And besides, I'm entering the contest too. Oh, come on. Are you afraid you're gonna lose to us? What? Of course not. I know I'm gonna crush this competition, but I just gotta prioritize, you know? Come on, Dylan, please. I'll do your chores for a month. I don't think so. Just think, if you were on the cheerleading team, you would already be in a beach video. <laughs> <laughs> Just joining the cheer team? I would pay money to see that. Hey, I think Joss would make a great cheerleader. You know, tryouts are just around the corner. You could always come check it out, see what it's really like. N no thanks, Reina. I'll stick to surfing. Aw, oh, come on, Joss. Ooh, I'll give you 20 bucks if you make the cheerleading team. Would I actually have to join after I made the team? That's up to you, assuming you can even make the team. There's no way a surfer girl like you would ever make it. Mila, don't be disrespectful. You know... Joss, you can't do cheer. Always trust that your surf sister has a plan. Dylan, you can keep your 20 bucks. If I make the cheer team, then you have to help me and Sophia film our surfing video. <gasps> What? Did you hear? Oh my god, did you hear what? that? Seriously? Oh. gonna do cheer. You're really gonna try out? Um, yeah. If it means we can meet Tina Hart, I'd do pretty much anything. Hmm. Deal. But while you're practicing your little cheer moves, I'm gonna be rolling. You will never live this down. Sounds like it's settled then. If Joss makes the cheer team, then Dylan will shoot the surf video and you will see what cheerleaders are really made of. You'll be amazing, Joss. There are a couple of pre-tryout practices the next few days. Six o'clock at the gym. We'll see you there. Do you really think you can make the cheer team? For sure. I mean, how hard could it be? Famous last words. Whatever, Dylan. Get ready to film the Surf Sisters video, cause we're gonna ride this wave. Yeah! <laughs> hey guys, my name is Chelsea and I will be teaching you guys how to say surf in sign language since Joss loves to surf. Here we go. Let's do that again. That's how you sign surf. Thanks for watching. You nervous about your first cheer practice? No way, it's just cheer. How hard could it be? Probably harder than you think. Okay, maybe I'm a little nervous. I've never done anything like this before. But I know that cheering on a bunch of boys just isn't for me. I'm just doing cheer to win the bet so that Dylan will film me and Sophia for the surf video contest. Hmm.
Did I ever tell you how I started surfing? No, just that you started when you were little. I wasn't that little, only a bit younger than you. And believe it or not, I used to think surfing was lame. Really? But you love surfing. Well, I love surfing now, but back then I was so scared of wiping out that I decided I didn't like surfing before I even tried it. So you think I'm deciding I don't like cheer before I try it? <laughs> if the flip-flop fits. Look, I'm just saying keep an open mind when trying new things, because an open mind is like a wave. You never know where it may take you. Thanks for the ride, Liam. And for the advice. Anytime. Good luck. I hope they don't expect us to do that. Uh, me too. I'd like to keep my front teeth, thank you very much. Sorry, what was that? I'm hard of hearing. Oh, uh, I said I'd rather keep my front teeth. <laughs> I'm Brooklyn. I'm Joss. Oh, what's that? It's a microphone to help me hear the coach. If she speaks into it, her voice goes directly to my hearing aid and I can hear everything she says. Oh, wow. Do you know sign language? I sure do. That's so cool. I don't know any other languages. Hey, do you want me to give the microphone to Coach Kara for you? Sure, thanks. Okay, hustle up, everyone. First off, we need to welcome our potential new teammates. Oh, hi. We're gonna start out with tumbling today to see everyone's skill level. Uh, Joss Kendrick, welcome. Can you show us a back walkover? That's okay. We're all here to get better. Brooklyn, you're up next. I thought surf girls were supposed to have strong arms, but yours are super wobbly. Whatever, Mila. I'm just doing this to win a bet. <gasps> Settle down, ladies. Let's move on to dancing. We'll start with a basic two-step move. Follow along, ladies. Move when I move. Cheer is about precision. One, two, three, Ooh. four. Ooh. Oops. Ooh, sorry. Don't worry about it. Joss, try to follow my count, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh huh. That's it. You got it. Now let's add music. What's wrong, Joss? You had it a second ago. I can't hear the count for the steps over the music. Was cheer practice the worst? I just felt like I didn't belong, like I was some newbie out surfing for the first time. That's because you belong out in the water. Totes. I just want to give up on this stupid bet and hit the waves. Tina Hart would never give up on a challenge, and neither should you. <laughs> Although I bet Tina Hart was never a cheerleader. 
<laughs> I mean, can you imagine her with pom-poms on a surfboard? <laughs> Actually, the cheer teams at Reina's gym don't use pom-poms at all. Then what do they do? Well, yesterday I worked on dance moves. Man, these dance moves are so hard. And that snob Mila was being so judgy. I have to do the exact same moves at the exact same time as everybody else, and I can't make it up as I go like I do with surfing. Also, I'm about as graceful as Murph in a tutu. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in luck because I'm a great dancer. Come on, let's practice. Smile and try to look confident. But I don't feel confident. That's why you have to fake it till you feel it. I'm just relieved that we get to try out as a group. That way no one will be staring at just me. All right, ladies, let's get started. <sighs> Fake it till you feel it. You did all right, surfer girl, but that doesn't mean you'll make the team. Don't listen to her. You did great, Joss. And if you stick with cheer, you'll become an even stronger surfer. Um, what do you mean? Well, surfing has all the same skills as cheer. Flexibility. Strength. Balance. Those are all things we work on here at the gym. I guess you're right. I never thought of it that way. Whoa, your jumps on the trampoline were so cool! Thanks! The trampoline is actually the perfect place to practice the front side air. What's a front side air? Is that a cheer move? It's a surf move. That's the trick I'm going to use to win the surf video contest. And on the trampoline, I can focus on my technique without worrying about wiping out. Well, if you keep practicing with us, then I bet you'll be able to pull off the front side air in no time. And you'll get better at cheer, too. I'm just here to win Dylan's bet so he'll film our video for the surf contest. I'm not actually going to join the cheer team. Oh, I, I just thought that... Never mind. I hope you win your bet. See you later, Joss. Ugh, the results still aren't up. Try refreshing again. I hope you made it so you can show those bow-wearing backflippers that surf girls can do anything. You know, some of the girls were actually pretty nice. Raina helped me out a lot and Brooklyn was cool. But I think I might have hurt her feelings. OMG, the results are up! I can't look. Just tell me if I made it. I don't see your name. Wait, there you are! Joss Kendrick! You made it! <gasps> I did it! I can't believe it! Let's call Dylan right now! I want to see his face when we tell him that- What up, Joss? Calling to beg me to do the video, even though you didn't make the cheer team? No, actually, we're calling to say that you better get your camera ready, because Joss did it! No way! Yep, I made the team, and now you have to shoot the video. A deal's a deal. Fine, I guess I can work you guys into my schedule. Later! Now you can email the coach and tell her you won't be joining the team. Yeah, totally. Oh. I've got to get back to my mom's shop, but I'm excited to have my surf sister back. See you tomorrow. <sighs> I guess I should write that email to Coach Kara now. <clears throat> Dear Coach Kara, thank you for giving me a chance to try out for cheer. I decided not to join, but it was a really good experience. Don't give me that look, Murph. I know I should just send it, but I don't want to. 
Maybe it's because Coach Kara was so nice, or because I actually might have made friends with Brooklyn. Maybe Raina's right. Maybe Cheer could help me with my surf tricks. All right, all right. One quick change. Dear Coach Kara, thank you for giving me a chance to try out for Cheer. I can't wait to join the team. It'll be a really good experience. Hi guys, my name is Chelsea, and today we will be learning how to say dance in sign language, since Joss tried her best at dancing. Here's the sign. Let's try that again. That's how you sign dance. Thanks for watching. Tell me you got that. Chill, sis. I got it. Way to shred. I feel like I'm getting closer to landing the frontside air every day. And now that you're quitting cheer, you'll have even more time to practice your surf tricks. Yeah. Totally. Check out the new art I made for the video. Trying new things? Cool. What about trying new things like cheer? <laughs> no, I was thinking more like trying the frontside air. Oh, well, you know, I did try new things in cheer. Like what? Pom pom technique? <laughs> go, fight, win. More like go surf that wave. 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 <laughs> 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 I wonder if the girls will even recognize you in that getup. I barely recognize myself. This is a mistake. We should just go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't you already email Coach Kara and tell her you're joining the team? Yeah, but... But nothing, Joss. You made a commitment. And you should at least try before bailing. Hmm. I, I don't think I can do this, Liam. I feel so silly in this dumb bow. If anyone from the beach saw me, I'd never hear the end of it. Ah, uh, who cares what those posers think? Is this really about them? Or is it about what Sophia will think? I haven't told her I joined cheer yet. I feel like she'll hate me. Sophia is your surf sister. She would never hate you. I hope you're right. I know your surf sister will stick by you. If you're honest with her, that is. I'll see you after practice. Go, show them what you're made of. Joss! Hmm? Joss, I'm so glad that you're joining the team. Honestly, I don't know about this, Reyna. I can't even get the bow on right. I felt the same way when I started. Here, let me help you. Come on, let's go in together. You can do this. Oh, let me get that to Coach Kara for you. Coach! Mm. Oh! Brooklyn! 
I'm so glad you made the team too. Uh, I know. I can't believe we made it, especially with our dance moves. My best friend gave me some good advice about dancing. Fake it till you feel it. <laughs> I like that. I'll keep that in mind next time I practice. I definitely didn't think you would make the cut. I mean, what's a dirty surf girl doing on the cheer team? Mila, Josh tried out and made the team just like you, and she deserves your respect. Now apologize to your teammate. Sorry. First off, I would like to give a big congratulations to our new members. Uh, just a sec. Joss, you'll have to remove that bracelet for practice. But I can't. Sophia and I never take off our surf sister bracelets. Well, we don't wear jewelry and cheer because someone could accidentally catch their hand or finger on it, and we don't want any injuries. Please put it away and meet us at the trampoline. Real cheerleaders know the no jewelry rule. Can't wait to see your jumps on the trampoline. You have so many cool moves. Thanks. They're all the same tricks I want to do on my surfboard. Oh. Hey, Joss. Yeah? Can I ask you a personal question? Of course. How did you lose your hearing? Oh, I didn't lose my hearing. I was born deaf in my left ear. But I can hear some things in my right ear when I wear my hearing aid. I see. Hey, do you think you could teach me some sign language? I really want to learn. Yeah, that would be fun. Joss Kendrick, you're up. to the mat for tumbling. Joss, we need to talk for a minute. Mm. That must have been really scary, huh? And I'm sorry that happened. But being negative to your teammates is not an appropriate way to deal with frustration. I didn't mean to lose my temper. I know that, but some of the girls might feel hurt by what you said. Surfing, now that's a solo sport, but cheer is about working together. Why don't you come to open gym on Sunday and spend some time with your teammates? We can't do our best unless we all work together, okay? Yes, Coach Kara. today. 
I was at cheer practice. But I thought you told the coach that you weren't going to join. I was going to, but then I... So you lied to me. No, I just didn't tell you the truth. Just that's lying. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. <sighs> Why did you join? You don't actually like cheer. Do you? No. I mean, yeah, sort of. I don't know. I guess I realized that cheer really could help me with my surf tricks. I don't see how waving pom-poms will help you shred better. I told you, we don't have pom-poms. Team Shine is about strength and flexibility. Remember that major air that I got the other day? Yeah, so what? Well, I practiced that on the trampoline at Cheer, only I didn't have to worry about wiping out. It could seriously help me nail the front side air. The front side air isn't the only reason we're making our surf video, Joss. I know that. I just think it could make our video stand out. More than my art? I didn't say that. Look, Sophia, your art will show Tina Hart that you're all about protecting sea animals, just like her. I just want to prove that I can do a frontside air, just like Tina Hart did when she was my age. Okay, fine. At least tell me we're still on to work on the video Sunday. Well, actually, I have cheer practice on Sunday. What? How are we going to finish this video if you're practicing cheer all the time? How about this? If I can't nail the frontside air by next Saturday, then I'll quit cheer and we'll make our video without it. Deal? Deal. Great. Now let's get out there.
Have you decided about Halloween yet? My Glenda costume's almost done, and well, Beverly's over the moon about being Dorothy. But we still need a tin man. Carolyn, come look. Isn't that the brightest star you've ever seen? Gosh, that is bright. Like a firework. What star is it? I don't know. But I'm sure gonna find out. I've never seen a star so big and bright and orange before. Imagine what it would be like to be up there where no one has ever been before. I want to be the first girl to ever go to outer space. I think that star is good luck. Huh. So make a wish, little stargazer. Look at that. I read in Collier's Magazine that scientists are building rockets to bring people all the way to outer space. I don't know, Mary Ellen. The furthest I've ever been from home is my grandma's house, and that's really far. Where did you get this book anyway? From the library. Davy, I saw the brightest star I've ever seen last night, and I thought the book would help me find out what it's called. Sorry about that. Jimmy throws a wild curveball. <laughs> Show off. Gee, Mary Ellen, I didn't know you could throw like that. Ring, ring, ring. Come on, we don't want to be late for Mrs. Humphrey's class. <laughs> Overall, I'm very pleased with your quizzes. It does seem like some of you are still struggling with the concept of gravity. But don't worry, it is a force to be reckoned with. Very nice, Mary Ellen. Save it for art class. Now, class, I've got some very exciting news for you all. This Friday, Dr. Anderson Teller is going to be visiting our school. Dr. Teller is helping to develop a rocket ship that might someday bring humans to outer space. We're having a school-wide contest. Whoever has the best essay on the wonders of space will have the honor of asking Dr. Teller a few questions in front of the whole student body. The interview will be broadcast on the news. This is what I've been dreaming about. A chance to meet a real rocket scientist. And I'd get to be on TV. Can two dreams come true at once? I have so many questions for Dr. Teller. What will the rocket look like? And how will we breathe in space? Maybe he knows the name of the star I saw last night. This is so exciting. Hiya. You come into our game later? We're going to cream those goons from South Street Elementary. Sorry, I'm going home to start my essay. The wonder of space awaits. <laughs> Don't waste your time. There's no way a girl is going to win that contest. What do you mean, Wayne? Have you ever seen a girl rocket scientist? No. Have you ever seen a girl astronaut? No. And you never will. Girls in space don't mix. Hmm. Come on, Jimmy. What a bug. Are you OK, Mary Ellen? They'll see a girl in space one day. I promise you. Contest. Have you ever seen a girl rocket scientist? No. Have you ever seen a girl astronaut? 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 No. Have you ever seen a gir
Have you ever seen a girl rocket scientist? No. Have you ever seen a girl astronaut? No, and you never will. Girls in space don't mix. Space is man's destiny. We have conquered mountains and oceans, and now our place is in space. Thank you, Wayne. Nice rhyming. Mary Ellen, you're up. Proudly presenting Astro Girl and the Search for the Brightest Star in the Galaxy. Astro Girl was born here on Earth, but with the passion to explore outer space. People told her a girl could never be a space explorer, but one day, while looking through her telescope, she saw something she couldn't believe. Mrs. Humphrey? Ma'am, she is cheating. This is an essay contest, and a comic book is not an essay. May I see your comic book, Mary Ellen? Sure, just remember that artwork is just as important as the story. I'm afraid Wayne may have a point. This is an essay contest after all. But it worked really hard in it. I'm sorry, Mary Ellen. Why don't you have a seat and I will discuss this with Principal Carey after school. All right, who is next? Jimmy? Thank you for waiting, Mary Ellen. Am I in trouble? I'm afraid I've got some bad news. I spoke to Principal Carey, and I'm afraid we won't be able to let you enter the contest. This comic book, while impressive, is not an essay. It wouldn't be fair to the other students. I worked really hard in the comic. It's about the wonder of space, honestly, and how space inspires us to do things that no one else has done. Mary Ellen, I know this contest was important to you, but you didn't follow the rules. It's that simple. Did they pick a winner? Yes, Johnny from Mr. Dale's class will be interviewing Dr. Teller. Boys get to do everything. Mary Ellen, your work in science class this year has been just wonderful. I'm sure when you get to high school, you'll do very well in physics. And you know, learning physics is the first step to becoming a rocket scientist. Mrs. Humphrey, did you see a super bright star the other night? I've been trying and trying to find out what the star is called, but I haven't had any luck so far. I'm afraid I must have missed it. It was so beautiful, but scary too, so far away like that. I imagined a girl so fearless, she could do what no one's ever done before and travel all the way to that star. I guess Astro Girl will just have to fly another day, though. Ellie, what are you doing out here? Mom needs to fit you for your Tin Man costume. I'm not sure if I want to be the Tin Man anymore. Mary Ellen Larkin. You promised. I'm sorry. I'm not in a very Halloween mood. I was disqualified from the essay contest because of my Astro Girl comic. Wayne the Pain said girls in space don't mix. Maybe she's right. I've never heard of a woman rocket scientist or astronaut. Have you? I guess not. I thought that if I was on TV interviewing Dr. Teller, 
No one would ever say girls in space don't mix ever again. Now I'll just be another face in the crowd at the assembly tomorrow. Look, I know this contest was important to you, but I'm sure you'll find a way to shine. You always do. And one day, people are going to be lining up to interview you, the first girl in outer space. That's it. What's it? The fearless girl who shines the brightest. The girl who does what no one has done before. No one, not even a TV camera, could ignore her. You mean Astro Girl? Even better, me. Come on, I've got an idea. Have you seen Mary Ellen? I know she'd hate to miss her son. Astro Girl, and there's no one else like me in any galaxy. What do you think you're doing, Mary Ellen? I'm Astro Girl today. There's no way you're gonna win that. Mary Ellen, with Wayne, come with me. Now. Mary Ellen. Wayne. Mrs. Humphrey and I have decided to change the format of today's discussion with Dr. Teller. Instead of Johnny asking all of the questions, we have decided to let a few students each ask one question. It seemed only fair to let more of our students shine. Quite right. So, shall we go and meet those other students? Oh, and Mary Ellen, if you would please leave your spaceship parked outside. Hmm? Mary Ellen, I just wanted to say that that comic book that you made was swell. You know, I love comic books. I know. All right, children, we're ready for you. Right this way. Come quick, everybody, it's on, it's on! Oh, goody. Yeah. Welcome to our school, Dr. Teller. Thank you, miss. Interesting getup you've got there. <laughs> Thank you, sir. My question is about a special star. A few nights ago, I noticed an especially bright star, and I was wondering if you could tell me the name of it. Do you happen to remember any distinguishing features? Oh, what about the location in the sky? Well, I remember it was kind of orange colored and very big and bright. I see. I tell you what, what you saw was no orange star. It was a red planet, the red planet, Mars. Astro girl, ready to be the first girl in outer space? Well, maybe. Maybe? Astro girl's a true star now. I'll go to space one day, but right now, I wouldn't want to be so far away from the people I love. Sorry I didn't want to be the Tin Man. I just love being Astro girl. She makes me feel so brave. Everyone's talking about your big TV interview. Yeah, ready for the parade? Ready for blast off.
turbulence, so we have turned on the fasten seatbelt sign. Please stay seated as we make our descent into Brisbane, Australia. What an amazing dream! I was running with Roos through the bush, and I can't believe that my wildest dreams are about to come true! I can't wait to be at my aunt's wildlife sanctuary and help take care of the animals. There are so many animals that live in the Australian bush, and they need our protection. Mom, how much longer until we're at Aunt Mamie's? Just a little longer, honey. It's a long way from Michigan to Brisbane, but we should be landing soon. Did you know that last year in Australia, there was a fire the size of Europe? Huh, I didn't know that. Have you added this to the list of new things you learned? You should definitely share this with Lila next time you chat. I don't think we will. And Lila won't care. All she cares about is soccer. Lila's interests may have changed, but that doesn't mean she won't be excited to hear from you. Hmm. <gasps> Tim Tams are my favorite Australian snack too. My Aunt Mamie always sends me some in the mail when I'm back home. My name's Kira, what's yours? I'm Sara. Does your aunt live in Australia? Yep. She runs a wildlife sanctuary with my Auntie Lynette. Whoa, that's so cool. What animals do they have at the sanctuary? They have kangaroos, wombats, <gasps> wallabies, all kinds of birds, and koalas. They actually just got a new baby koala. I named him Bean, and Aunt Mamie says I get to help take care of him. And those are just the animals that live at the sanctuary. There are tons of other wild animals out in the bush. I've read there are emus, echidnas, lizards, snakes, and spiders that are as big as my face. Ew, I hate spiders. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are now landing in Brisbane, Australia. We hope you have a wonderful visit and fly with us again <laughs> soon. Nice meeting you, Zara. Have a good trip. Have fun at the sanctuary. We're almost there, Kira. I'd better start packing up. I've got to be prepared to meet my new animal friends. Good idea. Aunt Mamie! Auntie Lynette! Mm, I'm so happy you two are here. Somebody! Catch that kangaroo! Oh. Oh, Mr. Curry's got him from here. They're headed right back to the pens. That was a do-something situation. And you rose to the challenge, Alexis. Kira, this is Alexis. Her father was the bloke that just wrangled our renegade Roo. <laughs> Mr. Curry does the maintenance and large animal handling here at the Bailey Sanctuary. Hi, I'm Alexis. I'm 12. I live here with my parents. And I do jobs to help your aunties take care of the animals at the sanctuary. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Kira. I didn't know kids could work here. <sighs> Did I miss a kangaroo? Don't worry, Tala. Mr. Curry's got him. But you're right in time to meet our niece Kira and her mum, Susan. Tala is here working on her PhD in veterinary science. <laughs> I've heard so much about you both. Your Aunt Mamie has been teaching me everything she knows about taking care of animals in the bush. I want to be a vet one day too. Is Bean still in quarantine? Oh, I can't wait to meet him. Soon enough, dearie. He just needs a little bit more time before he can come out and meet you. Let's get you folks settled. Tala, I'll need your help in the clinic. Can you please head there now and I'll be in there soon. Of course. See you soon, mates. Alexis, how about you show Kira around the sanctuary? A lot has changed since she was here last. Ah, oh, I'd love to. I can't wait to show you all the animals. Let's go. <laughs> it's so much drier than the last time I was here three years ago. Yeah, we're on the lookout for bushfires. They can happen easily when it's this hot and dry. All it takes is one lightning strike. So we gotta be ready. I totally agree. And that's why I always prepare my supply pack in case of emergencies. <laughs> Whoa, there are so many more pens than last time I was here. Yeah, my dad has built loads. He's really handy. He's also not a bad cook, which is good since he runs the bush camp. <laughs> bush camp? Oh yeah, there's a whole camp now for the people who work at the sanctuary. 
It's pretty fun living there. Oh, it's so cool that you get to live here and take care of the animals. That's the life. <laughs> Come on. All right. Now, always remember to close the clinic door. We don't want any animals getting out or any snakes getting in. Agreed. My dad told me the same thing the first time I visited. But back then, he had to lift me up to reach the door handle. Uh, Mamie, how did you beat us here? <laughs> How's Muffin doing? He's healing well. But we still haven't found the predator that attacked him. Predator? Do you think it's a snake bite? Do you have anti-venom? These look more like scratches, not snake bites. <laughs> and we have anti-venom just in case. Ooh, I need to rest for a spell. Tala, can you and the girls handle the koala pen today? Sure. Are you feeling all right, Mimi? Oh, yes, yes, dear. I'm fine. Who's ready to see a koala? I am. Me too, me too. <laughs> This is Mom, our female koala. When she came here, she had the baby. But unfortunately, he didn't survive. We're hoping that she'll be a mom to our baby bean. What big claws you have, Mom! She mostly uses them for climbing trees and tearing eucalyptus. But if she was in the wild, she'd also use them to defend herself. <laughs> but our mom won't be going back into the wild. She barely has any eyesight left and wouldn't make it on her own. When Bean is ready, we'll introduce him to Mom and we'll cross our fingers that they bond. What happens if they don't bond? Well, then we'll have to see if we can find Bean a different Mom at another sanctuary. Then I'm crossing my fingers and toes that they bond. Uh-huh, me too. So now that you've seen the clinic, Alexis can show you the bush camp and your tent. I had them set up your tent right next to mine. It'll be like we're roommates. I love it. I've always wanted a roomie. Great. And we even have a little patio that we can decorate together. I love decorating. Let's do it. Nice of Aunt Mamie to let us use her party decorations? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Watch it. <laughs> Always gotta check for spiders before you reach into anything. Was that a funnel web spider? Their venom is extremely toxic. Nah, it's just a black house spider. They won't hurt you. So, are you excited to decorate? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oh, look at that! Yes! Wow, this is ace! Oh, let's take a picture and you can send it to your best mate back home. I don't think my former best friend would care. All Lila cares about now is soccer. We got in a big fight after she said I needed to relax and go with the flow. And she said it in front of everyone! Just because I didn't want to play soccer. Uh oh. Sounds like go with the fly means do what she wants to do. You deserve a better mate than that. Thanks, Alexis. You can call me Alex. <laughs> Come on. Let's go take a selfie with the tent! My first day in the Australian bush was amazing. I got to see all the animals. Except Bean. He's still in quarantine. Alexis is so lucky she gets to live here. I wish that I had her life. Hmm. Being back here makes me miss my dad. But I know he would want me to focus on all the good things. Like how I had a fantastic first day. That very soon I will meet Bee. And I made a potential new best friend. I mean, mate. <laughs> all right, time to sleep now. Big day tomorrow. Here with my
my parents. And I do jobs to help your aunties take care of the animals at the sanctuary. And you rose to the challenge, Alexis. We're on the lookout for bushfires. They can happen easily when it's this hot and dry. All it takes is one lightning strike. You're so lucky that you get to live here. They actually just got a new baby koala. I named him Bee, and Aunt Mamie says I get to help take care of him. <sighs> Today, I will meet Bean. Called breakfast in Australia. Mm, Anyone want a cup of good, Mr. Lovely. Curry? Oh, look at that. Morning, sleepyhead. Okay, who's uh, who oh, wants breakfast? Doesn't this look lovely? Who's excited to meet Baby Bean today? Oh, me! Me, me too! Me. Oh, glad to hear it. Tala has to give Bean his last treatments, and then he should be ready for visitors later this afternoon. And until then, we've got chores to do. Kira, you'll be helping me clear brush. And I'm sure your dad has jobs for you, Alexis. You bet I do. But before any chores, you need to finish your online schoolwork. OK, Alexis? Dad! Schoolwork? Isn't it summer? Actually, here it's winter. Our seasons are opposite of yours. Mom, can I go to school online instead of going to junior high? Alexis has to go to school online because she lives out here. Our lives are back in Michigan. Why don't we move? This place is huge. We can all fit. Yeah, she already has a tent and everything. Then Alexis and I could go to school online together. And I can help Aunt Mamie with the animals instead of going to junior high. Kira, we've talked about this. Junior high will be a positive new experience for you. It's not positive if I don't even have any friends. Lila is going to be hanging out with her soccer team and I'll have no one. Please, Mom, I belong here. I thought I was going to hate junior high too. But it was actually really fun, and I made a ton of new friends. And after today, you'll be able to tell your new friends all about meeting a baby koala. Mm. Okay, you're right. Oh, it's a tough drought, this one. The fuel load is high. We're ripe for a brush fire. Fuel load? Everything we're clearing here is fuel for a bushfire. I applied for a controlled burn, but the fire brigade is too busy fighting bushfires. A controlled burn? You mean they would set a fire on purpose? Exactly. Our rural fire brigade does controlled burns to get rid of the ground litter. What will we do if they can't come? Well, we're already doing it. Clearing away brush helps. Aside from that, we hope for a good rain. And pray that a lightning strike doesn't start a wildfire. A lightning strike? So, Kira. How do you like being back so far? Having fun with Alexis? I'm having a great time. And Alexis is great. I just wish I had her life. Oh, dearie. We all wish for what others have. And I'd say you have a pretty great life. After all, you're about to meet a baby koala. Oh, this is looking great, lovies. Aunt Mamie, is it time to meet Bean? Almost. Tala just needs to give Bean some shots this morning, so we need to let him rest. But I bet he'll be ready for visitors after you girls finish your chores at the clinic. Kira! <laughs> 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 This is Blossom. She came here after her mum was hit by a car. Her mum didn't make it. That's something Blossom and I have in common. Except it was my dad that I lost. Wanna hold her? Sure. <laughs> I feel like a mama kangaroo. What will happen to Blossom? Don't worry. We'll help her to get big and strong. Then we'll release her back into the bush when she's old enough to survive on her own. 
It must be so hard to let an animal go after you've cared for it and come to love it. It must be especially hard knowing you may never see it again. Yeah, it's definitely hard to let go sometimes. But Aunt Mamie always says that if an animal can survive on its own, then its natural habitat is the best place for it. Oh! <laughs> I hope that my bond with Bean will be as strong as you and Blossom. I just have such little time with him. I wish my mom would let me stay here. Me too! Then we could take care of all the animals together! Bean is just waking up now. I'm going to check his vitals while you girls finish the wombat pen. Then you can come in and meet him. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> yes! hmm. Where'd they all go? Our wombats like to hide in their burrows sometimes. <gasps> <laughs> G'day, Puma. Kira, meet Puma. <laughs> <What? laughs> sometimes I think his name should be Bonkers. He's almost 10 months old and he's this crazy all the time. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, he just came right up to you. Well, taking care of the wombats is my job. I've been doing it since Boomer was born. So we have a special connection. <laughs> there it is, Boomer. <laughs> Go on, get it. <laughs> the ball. It's on the left. <laughs> Boomer, roll over. Roll over. <laughs> I wish I got to go to school online like you. I'm not looking forward to going home. Or starting junior high. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely don't have the normal life of a 12-year-old. But I do miss out on a lot of other things, like sports and school dances. You're not missing much compared to all of this. <sighs> Any sign of the predator, Aunt Mamie? Not yet. Your dad and I had a good look around, but the predator must be nocturnal. Nocturnal means an animal that is active at night rather than during the day. I know what nocturnal means. Oh, sorry. I, I just thought that... I've been studying animals for years. I want to be a veterinarian when I grow up. Now, Alexis didn't mean anything by it, Kira. She just wanted to share what she's learned. <sighs> You're right. Sorry, Alexis. If you girls are finished up over here, Bean is ready for visitors. <laughs> Go ahead and take a peek. Oh, he's so cute! And he even has a cute stuffy. Can we feed him? Please? We'll give it a try, but he's a bit of a fussy eater. Kira can go first. She's our guest after all. Right, Aunt Mamie? I'm not a guest, I'm family. We're all family here, Kira. That was nice of Alexis to offer. What? <sighs> totally. Thanks for letting me try first, Alexis. Let's get you settled. You stay there. Oh, come here. Oh, aren't you a cutie? Look at you. Try to tip the bottle just slightly. <laughs> You almost got it, little bean. Great job, little bean. You know, I've been waiting all day to meet you, and you're totally worth the wait. Why don't we finish up chores while Kira feeds bean? you bond with mom so that I can visit you every summer and watch you grow up. <gasps> oh. Here, kitty kitty. Here, kitty kitty. <gasps> Come on out, kitty. I've got bacon. What should I call you? Tabby? No. Hmm. How about Recky? <laughs> I think that fits since you like breakfast so much. Brecky. Oh, you're such a cutie pie. Kira, 
It's your turn to clear the table. Coming! Bye, Brecky. Uh, yeah, I'll take yeah, that. Nice Dad, can I go with Kira to the clinic this morning? I want to take a turn feeding Bean. You haven't finished your homework, Pet. So I think you know the answer to that question. I promise I'll do it later. I want to take care of the animals with Kira. Kira only has a short visit here. So we also need to let Kira spend some alone time with her family. But we're all family here. Alexis? What? I'm just saying what Aunt Mamie and Auntie Lynette always say. Ugh. Don't worry, Kira. Alexis just needs to cool off. Mm-hmm. I don't know why Alexis is so mad. Try to put yourself in her shoes, honey. If you weren't visiting, then Alexis would be the one taking care of Bean. Hmm. I guess I can see it her way. Good. Now go get started on your chores. Mm-hmm. Um. <sighs> Did you know that I was supposed to raise the next baby koala? I, I didn't know that, Alexis. Well, you know now. And it's not fair that you're the only one taking care of Bean. Well, I don't think it's fair that you get to live and work here and I don't. Even though this is my family sanctuary. <sighs> <sighs> What's that? Sounds like a wallaby. They only make that noise when they're in terrible danger. The predator. We have to go help. Over here. We have to be careful. The predator could still be out here. <gasps> what was that? It must be the predator. Oh, I wish we could have caught it. <gasps> It's all right, mate. We're here to help you. We can use this to pick him up. Good idea. Oh, it's okay. <sighs> we did it. <laughs> yeah, I guess we make a good team. Definitely. We better get this wallaby to Tala back at the clinic. Good thing you found him. He wouldn't make it out in the bush with these cuts. Yep, he has some serious scratches on his hind legs. Help me hold him steady, girls. What do you think got him? It's hard to say. Maybe a dingo, but they don't usually attack their prey in the middle of the day. Right now, what's important is making sure these cuts don't get infected. Poor little guy. He's so cute. I wonder what his name should be. How about Veggie? Because wallabies love veggies. <laughs> <laughs> we don't usually name the animals that we plan on releasing soon. It makes it harder to say goodbye. <laughs> well, I think we can make an exception for little Veggie here. <laughs> there you go, little Veggie. Aunt Mamie, do you think I can stay and help with Bean since I'm already at the clinic? That depends. Have you finished your homework? Not yet. But you promised that I could take care of the next baby koala. I know what I said, but homework comes first. And Bean is taking the bottle really well with Kira, so we should keep things consistent for him. Hmm? Oh. Soon you'll be big and strong, but right now you're just my little baby bean. I'm so glad that little one has taken to you. Let's just hope he takes to mum the same way. Are you sure Bean is ready? Tala said that if Bean doesn't bond with mum, then we'll have to find a new mom somewhere else. Well, yes, that is true. But there is only one way to find out if an animal or person is ready for something. And that's by trying it out. Okay, Bean. Today's the big day. Let's see how you take to Mum. Perfect. Mum's on a nice low branch. Now, let's start by taking away Bean's teddy. Mm. <sighs> oh, Bean loves 
house is stuffy. It doesn't feel right to take it away. I know it's hard, but this is what's best for being in the long run. Hello, mate. Hey there, old girl. Steady, steady. It's okay, it's okay. <gasps> Bean! We can't intervene, dear. This is part of the process. Oh, okay. Ooh, old shoulders acting up again. Oh, good thing we've got young people like you and Alexis here to help out your old Mamie. If you're hurting, Aunt Mamie, I can tackle more chores. No, it's all right. You have a job here watching these two. Remember, the goal is not to intervene unless Bean is in real danger of falling. <sighs> oh. We have to be strong and remember that this is the best for Bean. But I also need to be prepared just in case he slips. Mm hmm. Huh? No, Bean! You have to stay there! <sighs> Kira? Uh, I know I was supposed to leave him, but he was going to fall. I'll have to try again tomorrow. Can I help? You and Bean are a little too bonded right now, so I think it'll be better if I do it alone tomorrow. I promise I'll keep my distance next time. I really want to be there. Oh. <sighs> Aunt Mamie, are you okay? <sighs> oh, oh, oh. <gasps> oh. Kira, can you... <sighs> I, I need... You need help! <sighs> Auntie Lynette! Oh, Auntie Lynette, come quick! Aunt Mamie needs help! What a hard day. Aunt Mamie had to be rushed to the hospital. How could I not see earlier that she wasn't feeling well? And I messed up Bean bonding with Mom by not giving him enough space. I ruin everything. Oh, today has been terrible. Not only is Aunt Mamie in the hospital, but Veggie didn't even eat his dinner. And we still haven't caught the Predator. The Predator isn't my biggest worry right now. Mine either. But someone has to look after the animals with Aunt Mamie and Auntie Lynette at the hospital. Are you saying you're the only one who can do that? No, I'm not saying that. Hmm. Why didn't you go to the hospital with your mum and Auntie Lynette? It's just... Last time I went to the hospital was after my dad's accident. And he never came back. I... I'm scared to go back there. Oh. I I'm so sorry, Kira. I can't imagine how hard that must have been for you. Do you miss him? Your dad? All the time. <laughs> I hope Aunt Mamie's going to be okay. I love her so much. I wanted to go with her to the hospital. Why didn't you go? They only allow family. <laughs> and I'm not... Emily. I'm sorry, Alexis. You know what my dad used to say whenever I had a bad day at school? The best preparation for tomorrow is to learn from the mistakes of today and start fresh in the morning. Good night, Kira. Good night, Alexis. <laughs> find an outfit that will dazzle the judges. Okay, closet, find me a dazzling outfit. You can do this!
this! <sighs> you can do this. Devin, what did I say about doing yoga in the kitchen? Sorry! I was just about to make a snack before tryouts and got sidetracked. You can do this. But not in this outfit. Closet, more dazzle, more sparkles, more five, six, seven, eight. Oh, and how about a bigger bow? Well, that's not quite right. Change. Better change. This bow! Closet, bring out the big bow. Recruits. The name's Joss. I'm Aidy. Hi, I'm Devin. Jock here. That stunt was amazing. Can we try that? One day, maybe. That stunt has taken a long time for us to learn. You make it look so easy, though. It's harder than it looks, I guess. I have an idea. Why don't you three try a pyramid? That's a great way to build trust between teammates. We'll help. I got Bob Swan Pyramid. With your big bow, it might be best for you to take one of the base spots for balance. Well... Okay. You can do this. Great job. Oh no. Oh, ow. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that wasn't quite right. Sorry guys. Oh, we'll never make the squad if you can't do a simple pyramid. Oh, don't worry. It takes a long time to trust in your team and your bases. And there's a lot of stuff to focus on when you're doing a stunt. It takes practice and confidence in your team and yourself. That's it. Focus. What if I help everyone focus on breathing together? During the stunt, it always helps me focus and should get us more in sync. That's not a bad idea. Let's do it. Breathe in. Two, three, four. And out. Two, three, four. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Now that's teamwork. I want Coach to see this. Coach Kara, check this out. For Coach? Oh no, I think uh -oh. I forgot to keep breathing. She's gonna get the high school. Look at her go! Yeah! Awesome! That's it, Courtney! You're almost to level nine! That's the farthest you've ever gotten! Go, go, go! Watch out! Oh my goodness! That was awesome! No, no, no! Oh, whoa! Great! Time to go, Courtney! Five more minutes, Tina. I'm about to beat my high score. Uh, you mean the high score? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, super lame. Let's go. Just one more. Almost. Wait, is that my pink scrunchie? Huh? Maybe. Give it. Can it wait? Ugh. Okay, okay, just let go. Find you. Whoa. Here. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm guessing I didn't win. 
I can't believe she did that. You were so close to an all-time high score. Ooh. Aren't sisters supposed to help each other? Remember that weekend she taught me how to swim? She used to be a super rad big sis, but now she says we're only stepsisters, not real sisters. She used to be so nice. I don't get it. Ah, teenagers. <laughs> So what are you doing for Mr. Garcia's dream big assignment? I'm making a movie. Come on, Detective Courtney. We've got to get to the bottom of things. <laughs> sure thing, Secret Agent Sarah. But first, slow-mo action shot. <laughs> for my dream big, I'm gonna plan my ultimate trip around the world from the jungles of South America to the golden sands of Egypt. <laughs> what about you, Courtney? Uh, I don't know. I was thinking about designing my own video game. Oh. Whoa! Courtney, we don't have all day. <laughs> okay, there's this Good movie morning. idea I have about this guy. Mm -hmm. He's like in a car and the car can sort of travel. Okay, so the hero is Crystal Starshooter and she's a space explorer. Wow, just like the crew of the Challenger shuttle. Exactly. Krista McAuliffe, that teacher who's going into space, she's my inspiration. Crystal Starshooter? More like Crystal Barf Loser. Huh? Huh? Nailed it! Give me a break, Justin. <laughs> Make me. Ah. Mmm, bogus. Crystal star shooter. Justin the big collared alien. Hey, who turned out the lights? What's that, Parsley? I'm glad Dad let you stay here with me, too. Yeah, I miss him, too. But he's only a phone call away. We should tell him I'm going to plan a new video game. Whoa! Ugh, Courtney, why are you such a slob? What? Oh, I'm working on a new project I'm going to design. Ew, what's that smell? Smell? Oh my god, is that your rat? He totally reeks. Parsley doesn't stink. And he's not a rat, for your information. No one even asked me about having a grody rat in my room. It's our room, and he's not a rat. What's going on in here, girls? <sighs> Nothing, Maureen. Don't you have signs to make or buttons to pass out or something? The campaign can wait. What was the yelling about? She called Parsley a rat. Why didn't I get a say in this? <laughs> I think I'm seriously allergic. Courtney, why don't you clean out Parsley's cage and get him fresh bedding? See if that helps. Fine. Dinner in a few. Just because your mom is running for mayor doesn't make you the boss of me. If that thing keeps stinking up my room, I'm going to set it loose. You would never. We'll see. Crystal Starshooter would never let that happen. Captain Parsec. Stay sharp, Captain Parsec. The evil alien princess could be anywhere. Uh oh, Star Shooter. I'm detecting sound wave disturbances. Tina the alien princess. Captain Parsec! That'll teach you to mess with my sidekick!
What did you say? Huh? Something about a sidekick? Oh, um... Dinner's ready! Coming! You're so weird. Hey, don't listen to Tina. Next up, our totally tubular Saturday video countdown. Mom said to ask if you wanted to volunteer with us today. You mean pass out flyers about collecting other people's garbage? <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. It's called recycling, and it could save the planet. Wait, so now you're worried about Earth? I thought you were obsessed with space. I'm not obsessed. I just think astronaut explorers are cool. So are you coming or not? Maybe next time. Promise? <sighs> Promise. Wait. Hmm? One dance before you go? I don't know. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love my idea. Thanks for helping me pass out flyers today. Anytime! It's so cool your mom is running for mayor. Thanks. I think she would be so good at it. She really cares about things. It's hard when people don't see that. We're just trying to clean up the world. Why don't you start by cleaning up this room? Sorry, Sarah. Gotta go. Tina trouble? Yep. It's not that messy. Ugh, I miss having my own room. Yeah, I guess it is pretty messy. Maybe if it's clean, it'll bring fun Tina back. I miss fun Tina. This looks like a job for... Crystal Star Shooter! Great job, Star Shooter. Thanks, Captain Parsec. Just need to dust these figurines and... What are you doing? <gasps> I was... I just... I'm so sorry! I didn't mean to... No, 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 no. You broke it! I can fix it! No, you can't! Just leave me alone. Just find whatever it is so I can go back to sleep. Courtney, are you ready? Found it! Almost! Tina, are you sure you don't want to come to the studio? It's not every day your stepmom gets interviewed on live television. No. I like your power suit. <laughs> Thanks. Courtney, we gotta go. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> Thanks for coming, sweetie. Hey, Mom. Yes? What's a power suit? Does it give you power? Well, it doesn't literally have power, but it does make me feel confident, which I guess is its own power. Oh, you must be our lady candidate, Maureen. I'm Jefferson Kane, and this is my co-host, Sandy. And who is this little lady? I'm Courtney. Aren't you just the cutest bowl of ice cream ever? Um, thank you? Sandy, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, you bet. Mother-daughter Mother -daughter interview! interview. <laughs> Makeup! Oh, I don't know. Trust me, it'll be great. Definitely set you apart from the other candidates. It's really up to her. Courtney? Let's do it. 
All right, let's fly it in. All right, sandbag. Yeah, can we get a sandbag? Yeah, yeah, can you bring that over here, please? Can we get a bag of sand? Silly Sally's. Sibilance, sibilance, sibilance. And we are live in five, four, three. Welcome back, Orange Valley viewers. Wow, that was some hat choir, huh? Oh, sure was, Sandy. They sure do put the purr in a purr. <laughs> Next, we're continuing our interview series with the candidates for Orange Valley Mayor. That's right. And today we've got Maureen D'Amico, our local parks and recreation director. And a mom, huh? Tell us your name, sweetie. I'm Courtney. So, Courtney, what's it like living in a blended family? What? You live with your stepsister and stepdad, yes? Oh, yeah. It's, um, well, we're just like any other family. She's right. Just like every family, we have challenges, but we learn from and support one another. What's your name, little lady? Why should your mom be mayor? Was it tough when your parents divorced? Do you get along with your sister? I mean stepsister. Quick, Captain Parsec, my power suit! Here you go, Starshooter. Now take them down. How can she be a mom and a mayor? would be a great mayor! <clears throat> um... <laughs> uh, well, well, we know how your daughter feels. But in all seriousness, how could you run the county and be a good mom? What if, I don't know, one of your kids gets sick? What then? Then my stepdad Mike would take care of us. My mom works hard and always thinks about what's best for everyone. She really cares about making Orange Valley a better place. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Wow, I'd say that's quite the endorsement. <laughs> Jack, Olivia. What's up, Ava? Look what I've got. My new chameleon, Cammy. Isn't she cute? Wow, she's adorable. I know. A customer. customer. Hi, Glam Fam. Wow, a gymnast from Team USA. Oh my gosh, I love gymnastics. <laughs> Me too. How can we help you today? I'm super excited to represent Team USA, and I love being part of such an amazing team, but I also want to show off my individual personality while I'm rocking my floor routine. Do you have any ideas? I'm sure we can think of something. Let's get you dolled up. Dolled up with American Girls is a specially licensed salon. Some of the treatments performed may permanently change your doll and product. While Jack and Olivia are giving you a makeover, you can play with my chameleon, Cammy. She's gone! Gammy! Don't worry, Ava. You'll find her. In the meantime, I know just the thing you need to stand out. Ribbons! Let's get to work. We'll start by brushing your hair to make sure it's nice and smooth. Next, we'll part your hair down the center. This will give you two even sections. Now we'll French braid in the ribbons. What's your favorite part of gymnastics? All of it! I love how strong it makes me feel, mentally and physically. You make it look so easy. That's because I practice constantly, stay flexible to avoid getting hurt, and eat a balanced diet. That's impressive. This hairdo is impressive too. I do what I can. As a special thank you, why don't you try on my gold medal? For me? The best deserve the best. Cammy! Cammy! You know what would really make these braided ribbons pop? Glitter! Glitter! The best part is, this glitter is biodegradable. Wow, I look as sparkly on the outside as I feel on the inside. That's what expressing yourself is all about. I always wear clothes as bright as my personality. I love it. Cammy, 
here, girl. Hmm. I feel like we're missing something. I know just the thing. These rhinestones will really help you stand out, and they're super easy to move around and take off. I love it. You look amazing. Did you find your chameleon, Ava? Not yet, but I'm sure she's here somewhere. Wow, that hairstyle looks perfect. Hmm, I feel like we need just one more thing. Cammy, you're a genius. This hairstyle needs a blue accent to make it pop. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm ready to cheer on my team and myself. We'll be cheering for you too. Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah. Team. We're here to say go USA, go red, white, and blue. We dedicate the time to make our hopes and dreams come true. We persevere, stand up to fear, so hear us when we say, We're tough, come on, girl, power strong, let's go, USA! New day has arrived, and I can't wait. To flip up on the scene cause I seize the day Stepping on the field of dreams, ready to play Dedication is the key, no time to waste The days when I face adversities And times when I struggle and fall I'm almost to remember I have the will to rise above it and give it my all When I look into the mirror When I see the only girl there Staring back at me, I won't hesitate to Myself the strength and courage oh, yeah. I deserve because I'm worth oh, it yeah. Listen up cause I have something to say to you We're here to say go USA Go red, white and blue We dedicate the time to make Our hopes and dreams come true We persevere, stand up to fear So hear us when we say We're tough, come on girl, power strong Let's go USA Hey! Let's go. Just one more. Almost. 
Wait, is that my pink scrunchie? Huh? Maybe. Give it. Can it wait? Ugh. Okay, okay, just let go. Find you. Whoa. Here. Ugh. No, 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 no. Oh. I'm guessing I didn't win. I can't believe she did that. You were so close to an all-time high score. Ooh. Aren't sisters supposed to help each other? Remember that weekend she taught me how to swim? She used to be a super rad big sis, but now she says we're only stepsisters, not real sisters. She used to be so nice. I don't get it. Ah, teenagers. <laughs> So what are you doing for Mr. Garcia's dream big assignment? I'm making a movie. Come on, Detective Courtney. We've got to get to the bottom of things. <laughs> sure thing, Secret Agent Sarah. But first, slow-mo action shot. <laughs> for my dream big, I'm gonna plan my ultimate trip around the world, from the jungles of South America to the golden sands of Egypt. <laughs> what about you, Courtney? Uh, I don't know. I was thinking about designing my own video game. Oh. Whoa! Courtney, we don't have all day. <laughs> okay, there's this good idea morning. I have about this guy. Mm -hmm. He's like in a car, car and the car can sort of tell. Okay, so the hero is Crystal Starshooter and she's a space explorer. Wow, just like the crew of the Challenger shuttle. Exactly. Krista McAuliffe, that teacher who's going into space, she's my inspiration. Crystal Starshooter? More like Crystal Barf Loser. Huh? Huh? Nailed it! Give me a break, Justin. <laughs> Make me. Ah. Uh. Mm, bogus. Crystal Starshooter. Justin the Big Collared Alien. Hey, who turned out the lights? What's that, Parsley? Well, I'm glad Dad let you stay here with me, too. Yeah, I miss him, too. But he's only a phone call away. We should tell him I'm going to plan a new video game. Whoa! Ugh. Courtney, why are you such a slob? What? Oh, I'm working on a new project I'm going to design. Ew, what's that smell? Smell? Oh my god, is that your rat? He totally reeks. Parsley doesn't stink. And he's not a rat, for your information. No one even asked me about having a grody rat in my room. It's our room, and he's not a rat. What's going on in here, girls? <sighs> Nothing, Maureen. Don't you have signs to make or buttons to pass out or something? The campaign can wait. What was the yelling about? She called Parsley a rat. Why didn't I get a say in this? <laughs> I think I'm seriously allergic. Courtney, why don't you clean out Parsley's cage and get him fresh bedding? See if that helps. Fine. Dinner in a few. Just because your mom is running for mayor doesn't make you the boss of me. If that thing keeps stinking up my room, I'm gonna set it loose. You would never. We'll see. Crystal Starshooter would never let that happen. Captain Parsec. Stay sharp, Captain Parsec. The evil alien princess could be anywhere. Uh oh, Star Shooter. I'm detecting sound wave disturbances. 
Even the alien princess. Captain Parsec! No! That'll teach you to mess with my sidekick! What did you say? Huh? Something about a sidekick? Oh, um... Dinner's ready! Coming! You're so weird. Hey, don't listen to Tina. End up on a totally tubular Saturday video countdown. Mom said to ask if you wanted to volunteer with us today. You mean pass out flyers about collecting other people's garbage? <laughs> Thanks, but no thanks. It's called recycling, and it could save the planet. Wait, so now you're worried about Earth? I thought you were obsessed with space. I'm not obsessed. I just think astronaut explorers are cool. So are you coming or not? Maybe next time. Promise? <sighs> Promise. Wait. One dance before you go? I don't know. Come on! I love my idea. Thanks for helping me pass out flyers today. Anytime! It's so cool your mom is running for mayor. Thanks. I think she would be so good at it. She really cares about things. It's hard when people don't see that. We're just trying to clean up the world. Why don't you start by cleaning up this room? Sorry, Sarah. Gotta go. Tina trouble? Yep. It's not that messy. Ugh, I miss having my own room. Yeah, I guess it is pretty messy. Maybe if it's clean, it'll bring fun Tina back. I miss fun Tina. This looks like a job for... Crystal Starshooter! Great job, Star Shooter. Thanks, Captain Parsec. Just need to dust these figurines and... What are you doing? <gasps> I was... I just... I'm so sorry! I didn't mean to... No, 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 no. You broke it! I can fix it! No, you can't! Just leave me alone. Where is it? Can you just find whatever it is so I can go back to sleep? Courtney, are you ready? Found it! Almost! Tina, are you sure you don't want to come to the studio? It's not every day your stepmom gets interviewed on live television. No. I like your power suit. <laughs> Thanks. <gasps> Courtney, we gotta go. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> Thanks for coming, sweetie. Hey, Mom. Yes? What's a power suit? Does it give you power? Well, it doesn't literally have power, but it does make me feel confident, which I guess is its own power. Oh, you must be our lady candidate, Maureen. I'm Jefferson Kane, and this is my co-host, Sandy. And who is this little lady? I'm Courtney. Aren't you just the cutest bowl of ice cream ever? Um, thank you? Sandy, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, you bet. Mother-daughter Mother -daughter interview! interview. <laughs> 
makeup! Oh, I don't know. Trust me, it'll be great. Definitely set you apart from the other candidates. It's really up to her. Courtney? Let's do it. All right, let's fly it in. All right, sandbag it. Can we get a sandbag? Yeah, yeah, can you bring that over here, please? Can we get a bag of sand? Sibilance, sibilance, sibilance. And we are live in five, four, three. Welcome back, Orange Valley viewers. Wow, that was some pack choir, huh? Oh, sure was, Sandy. They sure do put the purr in a purr. Ha, 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 ha. Next, we're continuing our interview series with the candidates for Orange Valley Mayor. That's right. And today we've got Maureen D'Amico, our local parks and recreation director. And a mom, huh? Tell us your name, sweetie. I'm Courtney. So, Courtney, what's it like living in a blended family? What? You live with your stepsister and stepdad, yes? Oh, yeah. It's... Um, well, we're just like any other family. She's right. Just like every family, we have challenges, but we learn from and support one another. What's your name, little lady? Why should your mom be mayor? Was it tough when your parents divorced? Do you get along with your sister? I mean stepsister. Quick, Captain Parsec, my power suit! Here you go, Starshooter. Now take them down. How can she be a mom and a mayor? My mom would be a great mayor! <clears throat> um... <laughs> oh, well. Well, we know how your daughter feels. But in all seriousness, how could you run the county and be a good mom? What if, I don't know, one of your kids gets sick? What then? Then my stepdad Mike would take care of us. My mom works hard and always thinks about what's best for everyone. She really cares about making Orange Valley a better place. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Wow, I'd say that's quite the endorsement. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, hey. Big Dream Project? Great idea. Court, I saw you on TV. Totally awesome. You were on Good Morning Orange Valley? That is so rad. <laughs> Thanks. You didn't tell me you were going to be on TV. You were amazing. You were all, my mom would be a great mayor. You were like a real-life hero! Heroes... That's right! The Challenger launches today! Come on! Oh, this is so cool! This is it! It's I happening today! So T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6... Shh. Watch, watch, We have watch. main engine start. 4, oh, 3, totally 2, 1... And liftoff. Lift off on the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Oh, that was awesome! This is just like your video game! Engines at 65%, three engines running normally. Velocity, 2,257 feet per second. 2,000 feet every second? That's so fast! So the 25th Space Shuttle mission is now on the way after more delays than NASA cares to count. This morning, it looked as though they were not going to be able to get off... <laughs> what was that? Was it supposed to happen? Was it? What happened? I think it exploded. No, it didn't. That's that's part of liftoff, right? No, that can't be real. No, no. Something isn't right. Was it a bomb? No way.
Come on, Starshooter. We've got a galaxy to protect. I can't. The mission failed. What do you mean? They're gone. Astronauts, the teacher on board, you really think they're all gone? Courtney? Tina? I didn't know you were here, but I can leave. No, that's okay. How are you feeling? I'm not sure. Me neither. <laughs> are you okay? No. <laughs> Me neither. I know you really looked up to those astronauts. I did. They made me feel like anyone could be a hero. Is that where you got Crystal Starshooter from? You know about her? Um, duh. You leave your stuff out everywhere. She looks pretty rad. Thanks. I'm really sorry I broke your horse. It's okay. I shouldn't have freaked out on you. It's just... My mom got this for me. You miss her, don't you? So much. And whenever, you know, people are gone... It always makes me think of losing my mom. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Did you know she was really funny? Your mom? Yeah, she was so funny. Always telling jokes and making people laugh. She liked to dance, too. So do you. <laughs> I do. Let's dance! Now? Yeah. For your mom. Come on! You can be the hero of your dream. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for your big presentation? I think so. Thanks for the glitter glue and puppy paint. No prob, Bob. One more thing. Your pink scrunchie? Yeah, you can borrow it. But it's your favorite. Don't make it weird. It's for good luck. Like a power suit. Come on, we're gonna be late. My dad will be doing my guitar. Oh, I'm so excited. They're gonna love it. Hang on, we're supposed Why to be a presentation. Wow, that looks so cool. Thanks. Hey, Courtney. Ready for your presentation? I sure am. No matter how hard it might seem. This is Crystal Starshooter. The hero of my video games. Whoa. Yes. She's a space explorer who travels the galaxy looking to make the world a better place. In level one, she fights a big collared alien. Then she battles the alien princess. Level three is when she faces off against two aliens at once and their rapid fire laser attacks. But that's 
That's when everything changes. And you learn that it's not about defeating the aliens. <laughs> what? Because everyone, everyone has to work together to make the world a better place. I knew it. So to win the game, everyone has to help. Space heroes and aliens. Since it's Alexis's first time back in school, why don't we write a list of tips for her and Kara to feel great on their first day? <gasps> I think that is a great idea! And I know just where we can write them up! Okay, Kira, I know you love to be comfy and practical while looking great, so... How about this? Sold! <laughs> I love it! I feel like I could wrangle a whole troop of kangaroos! You can take on anything now! Even the unpredictable wilderness of junior high! <laughs> <laughs> so cool! You two look ready to take on a new adventure. The Glam Fam has one last surprise. Ready? Yes! yes. <gasps> All right! Wow. Feel free to express yourself with accessories and master the art of voicing your opinion. Personalize all you want. Your backpack, your locker, even your shoes. Wow! Don't be afraid to experiment and try new things. Or meet new people. And healthy snacks will keep you from getting hangry. And last but not least, stay positive. Remember, even when things make you anxious or nervous, if you keep an open mind, you might form incredible new adventures. Thank you, Glam Fam. I can't wait for the first day. Me too! Back to school, here we come! Oh, the Focus on the hair. And we'll focus on the moves. Time to get you dolled up. If I do buns, will that be cool enough? I mean, of course it's cool, but is it music video cool? Mm, what is he doing? Maybe he's waiting for inspiration to strike? Oh, inspiration has struck. Ah! <laughs> I'm thinking punk. I'm thinking rock star. I'm thinking matching faux hawk buns decorated with personalized accessories. We love, love it. it. Ah! I mean, let's rock. I'll record so the girls can use this to learn the moves. Harper, can you take the lead since you take dance classes? You got it. It's OK that I'm not a dancer, right? Of course. It's about having fun. Let's start with jumps. Like this. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. One, Ooh, two, I think three, I got jump. it. One, two, three, <laughs> jump. Oops. Still having fun, though. Good. <laughs> Let's try adding a spin. Whoa. I'm OK. Oh, it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, you love video games and thinking outside the Xbox. Let's use that double chain necklace you're wearing as a hair accessory. First, we'll section your hair into three ponytails and turn each section into a messy bun. Now let's secure that chain with pins so each link hangs between a bun and... Holy awesome! Vanessa, you're an artist and a fashionista who sees true beauty everywhere she goes. Let's add lots of colorful hair extensions. Then we repeat the three buns and... Love it! Kim, when it comes to food and science, you dare to take risks. You shine wherever you go. Let's give your hair some extra sparkle. First, we'll do the faux hawk. Then we'll add lots of gems. <gasps> oh, yeah. Boom! <laughs> You nailed it, Ava. Now we just need to create the final pose. Hmm, any ideas what to do? Uh, Ava, you can do the splits? <laughs> I have an idea. Wow, you look like rock stars. And we've got the moves to match. Hit it, Olivia.
Bravo! These moves are great! Just sent the choreography to you. I hope your video shoot is amazing! We are going to miss you so much! Why? You're coming with us! <gasps> we, we are? You've been so awesome! We can't imagine doing this without you! I'm gonna need you to say that one more time so I can 100% know that I'm not dreaming! We, we want, want the Glam, glam Fam in our video! video. Oh. Tech! Are you okay? I'm better than okay! Good, because we need your help with our hair! <laughs> <laughs> One, do you think? Oh, the, the cactus! <laughs> I'll go check my studio and see if there's something there we all love. Dolled Up with American Girl is a specially licensed salon. Some of the treatments performed may permanently change your doll and product. A customer! Or three! <laughs> Hi, Glam Fam. How can we help you? I'm on my way to give an art presentation and could use your help. Wow, you made these? They're gorgeous. <gasps> Look, there's Moody. And that's us. I love taking pictures of things that make me feel happy. And then I arrange the pics into cool collage shapes. Vanessa is super talented. Well, I'd pick you to win for sure. <laughs> Thanks. I'd love to look as confident on the outside as I feel about my art on the inside. A bold hairstyle that screams confidence? I'm thinking a super cool, double bun, sparkle infused hair makeover. Wow, I love it. Time to get you dolled up. We're heading to the park to roller skate while Vanessa gets her makeover. Wanna join? Sounds fun. I love roller skating. I'd love to join, but I've never roller skated. I can show you how to skate if you'd like. I'd love that. And I have the perfect outfits for this adventure. That's better. So rad. Let's skate. I got gotcha, you, Ava. Whoa. <laughs> I'm so impressed with your photos and your fashion. You do so many cool things. <laughs> I do. Fashion really inspires me. And my cat, Moody, of course. <laughs> my vlog is where I can express all of my creative passions. Art, fashion, and my love for animals. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Did someone say art? Jack's helping me prepare for my big art presentation. I would love your help, too. Oh, I've got it. Be right back. <laughs> <laughs> you crushed it, Ava! Thanks! I'm ready for the park! Whoops! Guess it's been a little bit since I've skated! <laughs> Emma, can you give me a hand? Of course! Let's make sure you feel confident before we head out! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! I feel like I'm flying! Woo! <laughs> Don't let go! Okay, let's start by dividing your hair into two sections. Now we'll twist away from your face. Now I'm gonna wrap it into a circle, creating the bun. Let's secure this with some pins and a rubber band. And of course, hairspray. Then we'll repeat on the other side. Okay, all done. Your art presentation will definitely draw a crowd. <laughs> I can't wait. I love an audience. I love the confidence. What are your tips for handling stage fright? I always say I'm so excited a few times before I shoot a vid or give a presentation. It helps me to have fun instead of being nervous so I can really let my personality shine. Speaking of shine, just a little extra sparkle to add to your natural glow. You are glowing, Vanessa. <laughs> you mean sparkling? All of the above. <laughs> Thank you for your help. I'm so excited to do my presentation. But first, it's time for the photo finish. I gotta get a pic of those outfits. You four look awesome. But don't forget your knee and elbow pads before you head out to the park. Go team! All right. Exciting. Keeping it real, cause it's truly me. Yup, let's go. We get it kicking, we get it going. We got the style that shine like a 
it's glowing. Pull up with my South Quad like this. Street chic on BB, don't miss. Street chic, top down to the socks. In the city where we paint the blocks. With colors so bright like a rainbow. Extra fearless everywhere we go. Pull up to the scene. All eyes on the squad. Feel that energy. All your eyes. Everybody, so see to good you, Harper. I mean, so good to see you. Is everything okay? You seem nervous. I am. I'm taking my driver's license test today, and what if I don't pass? I was so nervous when I took my driver's test, too. Do you have any tips you could share to help me calm down? Of course. First, let's take some big, deep breaths. In and out. Wow, I'm feeling better already. Just remember to stay focused and listen to everything your instructor says. Will do. I know something we can make that will help. A personalized lucky keychain. Once you pass the test, you can use it for your car keys. Ooh, I love that. Now let's get crafting. Did you know? Horseshoes are one of the luckiest charms in the world. Many people believe they're magical because they're made in fire. Ooh, I'd love one on my keychain. <laughs> <laughs> Keychains are the world's most popular souvenir. They're also the most lost. <laughs> Did you know that in China, the number four is very unlucky? Their buildings don't have a fourth floor and license plates don't end in four either. Good to know. No fours for me. Hey, Jack, why couldn't the frog find his car? I don't know. Because it had been towed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just couldn't help myself. I made keychains for the entire Glam Fam. This one is yours, Jack. I hope it brings you luck. And I made one for you as a thank you for helping me out. Aw, unicorns are my favorite. This is so cool. I can't wait to take my driver's test now. Speaking of, I better go or I'm gonna be late. And I still have to style my hair for the license photo. You've totally got this. Thanks for tuning in today. Let's send Jack some lucky vibes for his test. Remember, when it comes to doing fun activities and making the coolest crafts, 
The Glam Fam knows how. It's Student Council Election Day. I can't wait to see who our next Student Council President is. There's so many great candidates. I just wish I knew who to vote for. Oh my gosh, a candidate! That's Nari. She's all about improving school lunches and funding the arts department. Hi, everyone. Hi, Nari. How are you feeling about the election? Great. I worked hard on my campaign, writing speeches and creating posters. I am so ready. If I win, tomorrow will be my first day on the job. This is so inspiring. Now you deserve a day to relax and feel fresh. <laughs> I guess I have been a tiny bit stressed. I know. Spa day. While you take some time to recharge, Let's also pamper your hair with a deep conditioning mask. And I'll find you the perfect presidential look. It's time to get you dolled up. Harper, is that your puppy? You bet. Meet Waffles. I just adopted him from the local shelter. You're so cute. Yes, you are. I wish there was something I could do to help the rest of the dogs at the shelter. Hmm. Okay, idea number one. Everyone gets a dog. I don't think that's gonna work. I'm so excited for this relaxing day. And I'm excited to hear what you'll do when you win the elections. Why don't you tell me while I put this deep conditioning mask in your hair? Oh my gosh, I have so many plans. I want healthier school lunches, new science equipment, anti-bullying programs, fundraisers for drama and arts departments, community service fundraisers. Whoa, that's a lot of ideas. I know. There's so much that I want to do to improve my school and community. Sometimes I get a little overwhelmed. You'll be an amazing president, but you can't do everything at once. If you're not taking care of yourself, how can you help others? You're right. Any tips and tricks? Sure. Get a planner to write down your goals, make a schedule, and organize your big ideas. And don't forget to breathe, stretch, and get a good night's sleep. Sleep. I remember sleep. It's all about balance and taking time to recharge. Okay, idea number 12. I could dress up in different disguises to adopt every dog at the shelter. I don't think that's going to work. Fair enough. Hmm. Now let's rinse this mask out of your hair. Now we'll use a wide tooth comb to brush out your hair while it's wet. Adding in a leave-in conditioner or oil will lock in the moisture. It's looking great and will air dry perfectly. No need for heat. Hey Ava, you're up. Wow, Ava, I love your closet. And I love that outfit. That's it. The power outfit! You're so right. This outfit is perfect. You look so cool and confident. This cute headband will really show off your awesome curls. You really look like a president. And I feel like one too. Your dog is so cute. He's the best. I just wish I knew how to help other animals at the animal shelter. Mm, why don't you have a bake sale? I've heard that Olivia's chocolate chip cookies are famous. They are. You could raise money to donate to the shelter. That's what I call the power of positive thinking. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> You've got our vote. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Nari. Good luck. So about idea number one, everyone gets a puppy. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna get the high Courtney. school. Look at her go! Yeah! So awesome! Yeah, That's it, Courtney! You're almost to level nine! That's the farthest you've ever gotten! Go, go, go! Watch out! Oh, my goodness! Oh, that was awesome! Yes. Oh, no, no! Oh, whoa! Yes. Right! Time to go, Courtney! 
five more minutes, Tina. I'm about to beat my high score. Uh, you mean the high score? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Ugh, super lame. Let's go. Just one more. Almost. Wait, is that my pink scrunchie? Huh? Maybe. Give it. Can it wait? Ugh. Okay, okay, just... Ooh, careful! Oh. Behind you! Whoa. Here! Ugh. No, 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 no. Oh, well. I'm guessing I didn't win. I can't believe she did that! You were so close to an all-time high score! Ooh! Aren't sisters supposed to help each other? Remember that weekend she taught me how to swim? She used to be a super rad big sis, but now... She says we're only stepsisters, not real sisters. She used to be so nice. I don't get it. Ah, teenagers. <laughs> so what are you doing for Mr. Garcia's dream big assignment? I'm making a movie. Come on, Detective Courtney. We've got to get to the bottom of things. <laughs> sure thing, Secret Agent Sarah. But first, slow-mo action shot. <laughs> For my dream big, I'm going to plan my ultimate trip around the world. From the jungles of South America to the golden sands of Egypt. <laughs> what about you, Courtney? Uh, I don't know. I was thinking about designing my own video game. <sighs> Whoa! Courtney, we don't have all day. <laughs> okay, there's this good movie morning. idea I have about this guy. Mm -hmm. He's like in a car and the car can sort of travel. Okay, so the hero is Crystal Starshooter and she's a space explorer. Wow, just like the crew of the Challenger shuttle. Exactly. Krista McAuliffe, that teacher who's going into space, she's my inspiration. Crystal Starshooter? More like Crystal Barf Loser. Huh? Huh? Nailed it! Give me a break, Justin. <laughs> Make me. Ugh. Mmm, bogus. Justin, the big collared alien. Hey, who turned out the lights? What's that, Parsley? Well, I'm glad Dad let you stay here with me, too. Yeah, I miss him, too. But he's only a phone call away. We should tell him I'm going to plan a new video game. Whoa! Ugh, Courtney, why are you such a slob? What? Oh, I'm working on a new project I'm going to design. Ew, what's that smell? Smell? Oh my god, is that your rat? He totally reeks. Parsley doesn't stink. And he's not a rat, for your information. No one even asked me about having a grody rat in my room. It's our room, and he's not a rat. What's going on in here, girls? <sighs> Nothing, Maureen. Don't you have signs to make or buttons to pass out or something? The campaign can wait. What was the yelling about? She called Parsley a rat. Why didn't I get a say in this? <laughs> I think I'm seriously allergic. Courtney, why don't you clean out Parsley's cage and get him fresh bedding? See if that helps. Fine. Dinner in a few. Just because your mom is running for mayor doesn't make you the boss of me. If that thing keeps stinking up my room, I'm going to set it loose. You would never. We'll see. Crystal Starshooter would never let that happen. 
Captain Parsec. Stay sharp, Captain Parsec. The evil alien princess could be anywhere. Uh oh, Star Shooter. I'm detecting sound wave disturbances. Being the alien princess. You to mess with my sidekick. What did you say? Huh? Something about a sidekick? Oh, um. Dinner's ready. Coming. You're so weird. Hey, don't listen to Tina. Next up, our totally tubular Saturday video countdown. Mom said to ask if you wanted to volunteer with us today. You mean pass out flyers about collecting other people's garbage? <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. It's called recycling, and it could save the planet. Wait, so now you're worried about Earth? I thought you were obsessed with space. I'm not obsessed. I just think astronaut explorers are cool. So are you coming or not? Maybe next time. Promise? <sighs> Promise. Wait. Hmm? One dance before you go? I don't know. Come on! You can win. I love my idea. Thanks for helping me pass out flyers today. Anytime! It's so cool your mom is running for mayor. Thanks. I think she would be so good at it. She really cares about things. It's hard when people don't see that. We're just trying to clean up the world. Why don't you start by cleaning up this room? Sorry, Sarah. Gotta go. Tina trouble? Yep. It's not that messy. Ugh, I miss having my own room. Yeah, I guess it is pretty messy. Maybe if it's clean, it'll bring Fun Tina back. I miss Fun Tina. This looks like a job for... Crystal Starshooter! Great job, Star Shooter. Thanks, Captain Parsec. Just need to dust these figurines and... What are you doing? <gasps> I was... I just... I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. No, 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 no. You broke it. I can fix it! No, you can't! Just leave me alone. Where is it? Can you just find whatever it is so I can go back to sleep? Courtney, are you ready? Found it! Almost! Tina, are you sure you don't want to come to the studio? It's not every day your stepmom gets interviewed on live television. No. I like your power suit. <laughs> Thanks. Courtney, we gotta go. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> Thanks for coming, sweetie. Hey, Mom. Yes? What's a power suit? Does it give you power? Well, it doesn't literally have power, but it does make me feel confident, which I guess is its own power. Oh, you must be our lady candidate, Maureen. I'm Jefferson Kane, and this is my co-host, Sandy. And who is this little lady? I'm Courtney. 
aren't you just the cutest bowl of ice cream ever? Um, thank you? Sandy, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, you bet. Mother-daughter Mother -daughter interview! interview. <laughs> Makeup! Oh, I don't know. Trust me, it'll be great. Definitely set you apart from the other candidates. It's really up to her. Courtney? Let's do it. All right, let's fly it in. All right, sandbag. Yeah, can we get a sandbag? Yeah, yeah. Can you bring that over here, please? Get a bag of sand. Silly Sally's. Silly Sally's. Silly Sally's. Silly Sally's. Silly Sally's. And we are live in five, four, three. Welcome back, Orange Valley viewers. Wow, that was some hat choir, huh? Oh, sure was, Sandy. They sure do put the purr in a purr. <laughs> Next, we're continuing our interview series with the candidates for Orange Valley Mayor. That's right. And today we've got Maureen D'Amico, our local parks and recreation director. And a mom, huh? Tell us your name, sweetie. I'm Courtney. So, Courtney, what's it like living in a blended family? What? You live with your stepsister and stepdad, yes? Oh, yeah. It's, um, well, we're just like any other family. She's right. Just like every family, we have challenges, but we learn from and support one another. What's your name, little lady? Why should your mom be mayor? Was it tough when your parents divorced? Do you get along with your sister? I mean stepsister. Quick, Captain Parsec, my power suit! Here you go, Starshooter. Now take them down. How can she be a mom and a mayor? My mom would be a great mayor! Um... <clears throat> Oh, uh, well, well, we know how your daughter feels. But in all seriousness, how could you run the county and be a good mom? What if, I don't know, one of your kids gets sick? What then? Then my stepdad Mike would take care of us. My mom works hard and always thinks about what's best for everyone. She really cares about making Orange Valley a better place. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Wow, I'd say that's quite the endorsement. <laughs> 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 oh, 